Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to Martin Lucas Investor. What a week we have. We have uh, an amazing week lined up for you live on the show. We go live 10 hours a day. This is my real money, my real trades, my real positions, and uh, let's show you on the screen right now. We popped up this morning just over 1%. It was a slightly higher. I'm quite surprised, actually. I thought today we would be quite muted uh, because tomorrow we've got uh, Jerome Powell speaking. It'll be live on the show. We'll be covering it live tomorrow. On Friday, we've got uh, the um, unemployment figures plus special guest from uh, the CEO of uh, Handcash, Alex Agut, will be on the show on Friday. So a lot, a lot to, uh, to, to, uh, to, to deal with. Plus, we also have uh, any moment now, uh, any moment they're going to release when they're going to fly Virgin Orbit. And we've also got the Tesla semis on the road as well. So let's get straight into the trade and see how we are this morning. Welcome everybody over there on TikTok. Uh, welcome to all of you. Uh, we trade live every morning. Uh, everything you see here is real. This is my real shares, my real positions live on the screen with you. So if you'd like to uh, be part of our live show, you can. You can you can tune in um, to... Uh, oh, hang on a minute. We seem to be behind the screen. You seem to be quite behind there. What's happening there? We've got a slight technical issue there. Oh, no, that's better. There just seems to be a, a bit of a delay there between um, live and YouTube, more than normal. Anyway, sorry about that. Uh, w welcome to everybody. We are, we've got some special guests on the show. We're going to be covering Jerome Powell live tomorrow. We've got Alex Agut, CEO of Handcash, BSV versus Bitcoin, all of that story. If you want to talk to Alex Agut live on the show, you can put your questions to him. He's the CEO, co-founder of Handcash. He'll be here live on my show on Friday. And we may also have Satoshi Nakamoto, alias, of course, Dr. Craig Wright. Uh, I'm talking with him about him coming on my show. How about that? Uh, very, very exciting. Um, Dr. Craig Wright, who's known as Satoshi Nakamoto, the inventor of Bitcoin. I'm talking with him about coming on my show. So very, very exciting uh, times indeed coming up. All right, let's get to it. Um, this is our portfolio this morning. If it's your very first time here, click subscribe and ring the bell and give us a thumbs up. There you go. Uh, let me go through all my trades right now and let's see who we've got first in the show. We've got Mike here, first of all, uh, over there on Twitch. Thank you, Mike, for keeping Twitch running. Thank you. Uh, Andrew Grady, good morning to you. Uh, here we go. I think Bill was here earlier. Running Diary. Good morning, Running Diary. You need to come back. T.O. Roll, good morning to you. Uh, who else? Bill, Shin Dynasty, Max H. You're all here before the show started, so I don't know if you're still with me. Just uh, come back into the live chat. It's one of my jobs. <laughs> yeah, one of your jobs, Mike. Okay, let's go through it. Now, I'm surprised we popped up this morning. Rob McLean is here. Of course, we've got Wales and England today live on the show. We will be covering it. We will be covering it, and I will share with you right now. Uh, very, very soon, we will have... Uh Netherlands and Qatar. It's obviously nil-nil right now. The match hasn't started. Netherlands and Qatar, that's coming up very shortly. We'll, we'll be sharing uh, and bringing you the breaking news as it happens. And any news as well around USA and Iran, that's important, and, U and the UK. So England and Wales this afternoon, just before the closing bell. All right, let's get straight to it. The S&P 500 is up slightly. Virgin, Gal uh, Virgin Galactic is up again. It's recovered a little bit from yesterday. Didn't manage to buy any cheaper stocks. Um, I was hoping to buy some for four bucks. Yeah, I want to keep buying shares at lower prices. Absolutely. Uh, Virgin Orbit, I set my target for 268 and I got it. I got it and I doubled up my position as I said I would. Uh, I've always said I don't like how this stock trades. However, if it goes to my all-time low, I will pick some up and uh, I will keep my eye on the news and see how best to play it. But anyway, there we go. My intention is to make a, a reasonable profit and sell it because I expect it to sell back down again. That tends to be how it works. Hamster One, hi, do you trade live the NASDAQ live uh, live Trader TV, Hamster. I'm not really sure your um, your question. Um, 
I, I trade live, I invest live, we are keeping an eye on all the markets, we're bringing all the breaking news, as it happens, we bring it uh, into, uh, on the screen, here is uh, our, our, one of our feeds here, highly uncertain global environment, uh, some top news, energy CEOs uh, hit mute button on ESG, we're keeping an eye on, of course, um, what's going on in China as well, and uh, yeah, we're here live, and everybody in the chat, our live investors, live traders, and everything is real. This is my real shares, my real money, all of my money. Everything I own is here in front of you. It's another live YouTube channel. It's another live, it's another live, oh, do you trade live, the NASDAQ live? Do you trade live? I don't understand your question. Um, anyway, Hamster One, where are you from? Let me put you on the screen. Uh, let's welcome you in. Um, my name is Martin Lucas, the world piano man, also full-time investor here on YouTube. This is my TV studio. Let me give you a wave. All right. If you are a member of our channel and you can join during the show, Hong Kong, welcome to you. Welcome to you. If you become a member during our show, we can celebrate your birthday. We can promote your business. We can uh, do all kinds of wonderful things for you if you become a member uh, during our show. Let me give you the invitation to do that. You can also call into the show, be live on the show, ask questions. I make videos on the uh, the stocks you want. And as you are from Hong Kong, if all my members, please, would put their cities and countries in, welcome you in around the world, I will share your Hong Kong uh, exchange right now. I was looking at it earlier uh, because, of course, it uh, opens before we do here in the United States. Let me have a look. Can you make sure Brazil don't win the World Cup? <laughs> Can't do much about that, I'm afraid. Right, here we go. Here is Hong Kong. Uh, of course, we open first of all with the Netherlands. This gives you an indication where the markets are going. Hong Kong is having a fantastic day today. Could you give us any insights why you think that is? They're up 5.24% today. Look at that. A very, a very nice uh, start to the morning or you're now closing up pretty much. Uh, Australia opened up, it's up 0.33. The Nikkei in Japan is down 0.75. But look at Hong Kong today, absolutely incredible. Um, the DAX in Germany is flat. The FTSE is up 0.65. And of course, the Dow, the NASDAQ, the New York Exchange, and the SPY hasn't opened up yet, as it hasn't, uh, we haven't got to that time. But uh, anyway, Ed Nevius is here. We've got a guest here from Hong Kong today. Was down 400 yesterday, so today it just came back. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, I keep my eye on uh, Hong Kong every day. So perhaps you could tell us why um, you th why you think it's uh, up today. Anyway, I I other than a rebound. But what uh, what drove that? Now we had a good uh, start this morning. We're up considerably. Um, we were actually up. If you have a look on my screen, we were up actually like 1.5. Somewhere in that region. We've dropped down a little bit, but uh, let's keep our fingers crossed for a good day. Welcome, everybody, there on TikTok. What are you thinking about XRP? I get lots of questions about that. A couple of points to make today. I am speaking uh, with Satoshi Nakamoto. In other words, Craig Wright, uh, Dr. Craig Wright, and... Uh, we are talking about him coming on our show live, where you can put your questions to uh, Dr. Nathan Smith, alias um, Satoshi Nakamoto, inventor of Bitcoin. Uh, so I am talking with him. We've also got the CEO and uh, co-founder of Handcash and BSV coming on the show on Friday. Jerome Powell uh, on the show tomorrow. Of course, we're going li to listen in to him live. We've also got the uh, earnings report on Friday. Lock CPI on December the 13th. FOMC on December the 15th. A lot coming up live on our show, plus the, all the latest football scores and everything else. All right. OK, let's carry on going for the stocks. We're looking for Tesla today, see what they do with their new semis. We've also got the Virgin Orbit um, space flight. I've just come back from the Virgin Orbit space station. I'm planning on going to the space station in uh, New Mexico as well for Virgin Galactic. So that's coming up on the show. Uh, SEC and XRP today. Uh, I don't invest in it, but I do have... I do have a number of my investors and traders who do, and they'll join us later. If you want to talk to them directly 
on the show or through Discord, join us on youtube.com forward slash at Martin Lucas Investor. Same name as his channel. Is he real and will he stand up? <laughs> he is real and he will stand up. I like it, Bill. Right, let me have a little look. Um, XRP, by the way, if we want to go into XRP, XRP Ripple, um, I don't think it's actually available. No, it can't be traded on Robin Hood, only real time market data. Robin Hood don't cover it. All right. I can't uh, buy it from um, Robin Hood, even if I wanted to. To just uh, share that with you, I can't. All right. Good morning, Ed Nevius. How are you this morning? Welcome to you, Ed. Lovely to have you here. Welcome uh, from Corm Cornwall, Andrew Grady. Uh, we are pegged to the USD. Well, we've seen... Oh, hang on. Let me, let me go some breaking uh, numbers on the screen. So let me share that with you right now. We can see the uh, the futures uh, up point, down 0.75. The euro to the dollar is, is pretty much flat at the moment. The US 10-year yield is uh, up 0 0.031. There you go. Anything, uh, anything uh, breaking, I will bring it to you as it happens. All right, let me carry on. Andrew Grady, welcome from Cornwall. Uh, we're just 15 minutes or so into our show this morning. We are here up to 10 hours a day. If it's your very first time, click subscribe, ring the bell, let us know you're here. And you can be uh, get some more information if you want to come into Discord as well. All right. Uh, let's have a little look. Uh... 10000 $10, dollars for the XRP is fanciful to be honest this is what running day has just said ripple will ipo after lawsuit i wouldn't invest in a, in in a, in a company like that it's not for me uh, to be honest so you are in the usa i am in the usa this is my studio here in dallas texas even though i'm from cornwall in england all right but yes i am actually from um Cornwall, but my studio is here in Dallas, Texas. Um, so you are trading, you are USA trading, and I'm from West London in Hong Kong. Is anyone from the UK still living? Yep, yeah, uh, quite a few of us from the UK. Rob McLean from Scotland. Uh, we've got our friend here, Andrew Grady from Cornwall. I'm from Cornwall as well, in the UK, it's Southwest England. And uh, let's carry on looking at our position. We are just. Uh, down, well, we're still up, 0.81. Um, keeping an eye on what's going on. Now, you may notice we are showcasing a product in the uh, in the show today. Right at the top, you can see one of my crystal ball uh, fleeces, hoodies, uh, plus other items you can get from the shop, if you're interested in that. All right. I'm there you go, Fife, right at the top of Scotland. He's a Highlander. There we go. That's Rob McLean. And if you want to hear Rob McLean, you can do this too. You can actually call in and be live on our show if you want to call in. This is Rob McLean. The best that you can have today is to join the Martin Lucas show. Make yourself some money and have fun with a great group of friends at the same time. Go for it. I just realised one of my speakers is out. Let me just turn it on. So that sounds better. Hang on a minute. It won't affect you. But it will certainly affect me. Let's do that again. The best that you can That's have better. today is to join the Martin Lucas show. Make yourself some money and have fun with a great group of friends at the same time. Go for it. That's better. I was missing half of uh, Rob's uh, message there. Now, uh, Kurt Wuckert, uh, one of our guests, uh, here he is. Uh, and you too can call in like this. Um, and I'm uh, hoping to have Kurt back on the show soon as well. I'm Kurt Wooker Jr. and I am blessed to have been on the day trader. Uh, please subscribe, watch everything. Uh, Martin is being really, really honest with you guys. It's a killer thing. So uh, check him out. You can check me out at coingeek.com and, and gorillapool.com. It's been a pleasure. One of our guests on the show, hoping to have him back on again soon. All right, a lot of stuff going on around uh, BSV right now and Bitcoin. As you can see, so look at today. Bitcoin SV is down 0.76. And uh, Bitcoin is down 0.26 today. We had a lot of movement yesterday in uh, BSV. Ethereum is up 0.24. All of my crypto now, other than my BSV, because I still haven't sorted it out to uh, take it off onto my ledger, but my Bitcoin is now on my ledger. 
Uh, how is BSV doing? I, I know they suffered from 51% attack a couple of years back. Have they moved on? Uh, well, you can discuss that with someone very heavily invested in the network. Uh, uh, Alex Agut on the show on Friday, uh, he will be with me, and he's also the CEO and, and uh, co-founder of uh, Handcash, which bases its technology on BSV. So uh, some big BSV people here on the show on Friday. You can uh, call in if you want to be, if you are a member, you need to be a member to do that. It's uh, through Discord. Uh, that way we don't have bots, scammers, and, and fake people, all right? So here is the, the, the invitation to become a member, plus many, many other perks, but that, that's one of them. All right, okay. Thank you for the follows. Should I buy Bitcoin from Robin Hood? Well, actually, I find Bitcoin, uh, Robin Hood the best place to buy my crypto. It's the cheapest way of buying it. I've got my own wallet. I remove it. I put it on my ledger. It, it cost me 13 cents to, to move $500 worth of Bitcoin onto my ledger. It lives there now. I don't sell it. I don't trade it. I just hold it. Um, and uh, that's how that works. Yeah, so um, I think it's fantastic. And in fact, if you come onto YouTube today... Uh, it's youtube.com forward slash at Martin Lucas Investor. Links in the profile. Same name as this TikTok channel. If you come on in, I will give you my referral to tick to uh, to Robin Hood. And if you've not set up Robin Hood before and you do, I think I get $35 and I will share it with you and you get some free stocks as well. I will give you the cash back during the live show. I do it to help everyone. I want to give away what I get in, you know, just to thank you and support you. I don't, you know, I don't want to get anything out of it. Um, and uh, I will support you. This is my Robin Hood account live on the show. Anyway, Okay, doctor's IPO today on watch. Doctor's IPO today on watch, says Ed Nevius. Did anyone pick up some cheap SoFi? I did. Yes, I did. Let me share with you my SoFi position. I did indeed. Here is my SoFi. Yes, I did. The reason why SoFi are going down, they are licensed as a bank. They have to behave themselves. And unlike Sam Bankman Fry, and I can call him Fry because hopefully, hopefully, hopefully he gets fried. Um, Sam Bankman fried um, has no rules at all. Crypto has no rules at all. At least it seems like that. Where... SoFi has to, has to run as a bank. It's licensed as a bank. It has to follow banking rules. So at the moment, because it has some investments in crypto, it's being investigated. And there's no reason at, at all they've done anything wrong. Everything looks good. However, it's dropped, the, it's dropped the, the price. People have sold out at the moment. And that presents me with an opportunity because I like SoFi. I think SoFi has got a good uh, future. It's a digital banks, I think, replace brick and mortar banks. I like it. So I'm, I'm, all, I'm all into that. So I bought some more. There's my position. You can see how many shares I've got. It's 2% of my portfolio. There it is. Right. OK, next thing to do is uh, we need to go to a very, very quick commercial break. Um, I'll be back in 10 seconds from now. Some of you see the ad. Some of you don't. Here comes the quick commercial break. Let me see you back in 10 seconds from now. Okay, we're back once again with you now. And uh, if you saw the ad, thank you very much indeed. If you skipped it, that's fine as well. It helps support the channel. Right, uh, I, I think Kraken is also a bank in one US state. Can't recall which one. Kraken, I've heard of that. I've heard of that. That name rings a bell as well. Good morning all, says Malk uh, UK. How are you? Good to have you here. Mark Corn. Hey, family, just eating lunch. Chat a bit later. <laughs> Bill's from Canada. There you go. Um, someone got a, someone got a, to, got a to keep the English in check. <laughs> That's uh, Rob McLean. Andrew Grady, you got a seatbelt tax coming. What will the Tories think of next? Seatbelt tax? What's all that about? Uh, DRS IPO ticker DRS uh, Ed Nevius as a member of the channel we can take a look at a stock of your choice so uh, we will do that for you now we will look at uh, DRS and uh, we might even make a video on it let's have a quick look for you all right now I put out some information last night um, Virgin Galactic a thousand flights Virgin Galactic have you seen it have you seen the 1,000 Flights Virgin Galactic video I put out last night? 
Um, go and check it out if you haven't. It's on the homepage. Kraken is also a spice rum. Yeah, much better. Much better, isn't it, eh? Don't rum and trade. <laughs> I wouldn't do that either. I don't think that's a very good idea. Uh, Rob, good morning. Let's get your name on YouTube. Hey, look at that. Fantastic. You could have your name on YouTube. Yes. If you uh, pop onto YouTube, come into the live chat, I'll put your name up. Let's pick someone out now. So there we got is Here's Malk UK. I put Malk UK on the screen. He'll appear on here and you can have your name up here as well. And uh, if anyone subscribes to me during the show, uh, I actually make a video for you at the end of the show promoting your channel as well. All right, so uh, Malk UK says Kraken is also a spiced rum. And it'll appear in about 20 seconds. It does seem we have a bit of a delay today on uh, YouTube. It's, uh, it's a bit of a delay, but it'll appear here in a couple of seconds. Um, there it is. That, that, that could be you. That could be you. All right. Okay. Uh, so DRS is IPO today. I'm not a fan of IPOs right now. I used to be. DRS. Leonardo DRS. Is this the one, Ed Nevius? Uh, no, it can't be, can it? Oh, yes, it is. This must be it, is it? Um, it's popped up and fell right back down. Is this the one you're talking about? Boris Hurricane Hair Johnson <laughs> and Neptunian. I like that. How are you, mate? Lovely to have you here. Can you name the place, Martin? Picture I took this morning on Discord. General Chit Chat. Okay. General Chit Chat. Uh, Andrew Grady. Uh, one of the members' perks. I can go in here and share your stuff you sent in to uh, Discord. Uh, let me have a look. Feel, uh, let me have a look. Can I name the place? Uh, yes, I think I can. Right, let me have a look. This has just been sent in from Andrew Grady. And uh, I can tell without a shadow of a doubt it's Cornwall in the United Kingdom. And uh, I think it's... Um, uh, what's the name of the place? It's uh, between Camborne and Red Ruth on the left-hand side of the A30 as you drive down towards Penzance. Uh, there's a hill on the side. It's between Camborne and Red Ruth up on a hill. I think what I can't remember that name, but that's where that is. I think. Am I right? Am I wrong? I don't know. You tell me. Am I right? Am I wrong? Anyway, thanks for sending that in. Uh, if you want to send in any information like that or any stock information. I'll give you that. Cambrai. There you go. That's what it is. That's what I meant. Cambrai. Are you impressed? Are you impressed with that? I, I'd be impressed with that. Uh, there you go. Uh, no listing today. Most likely before... Oh, no listening today. Most likely before 11.30. Um, is this the stock here? It's already, it's already um, listed, right? Is this what you're talking about? Is this the IPO? Can't be that one, can it? Because it's got an average volume. I mean, surely. Um, is it this one? DRS. Maybe it's something else. I'll wait for Ed Nevius to come back and confirm anyway. Um, so we're coming up to uh, 5 to 8 here on a Tuesday, 29th of November. Um, big week ahead for us on the show. Lots of things to bring you. And... Uh, this is uh, some, of the, some of the highlights we've got coming up, actually. Uh, tomorrow, we've got Jerome Powell speaking. We'll be bringing that to you. Uh, the PCE, of course, on Friday. Uh, on Friday. Um, we're bringing all that to you live on the show. <clears throat> we're starting to get a bit of an upswing again, just slightly. Uh, the S&P 500 is down. It was it was formerly Rada Electronics. What was? I mean, this, the, the ticker you said was DRS. DRSK? I'm not sure we're talking about the same thing then. Anyway, 
Not that one. No, it's not that one. That makes sense because it's already out. But uh, it, it doesn't seem to be on Robin Hood right now. Anyway, Virgin Galactic is up 0.84 today. Virgin Orbit up 4.48. I'm up $42. Uh, up 4.48. We haven't got information yet on the flight. We are still looking for it. When we get it, we'll bring it to you. Um, Tesla, we've got the news of the semis now, so that's doing well today. Of course, it's oh, it's being muted by what's going on in China, sadly. Thank you, um, Rob, for doing all your great work over on TikTok. Massively appreciate it. I haven't forgotten you, by the way, getting you to a thousand uh, followers. What are you on right now? What are you on? Um, I've got some big shows coming up this week and I said I would help you and I never forget and I always get it done. So um, we've still got that to do. I know we got you up a little bit. 560. Yeah, a way to go, right? A way to go. Caden Youngquist. Was that Caden Youngquist over there on, uh, <laughs> on uh, TikTok for a moment? Did I just see Caden Youngquist on TikTok for a moment? I think I might have done. Tesla, all right, Rivian, um, Church of Logic. Losing is not an option. Putin is desperate to avoid defeat in Ukraine as anxiety rises in Moscow. Terrible, terrible, terrible stuff going on. I hear now that um, we've got all the uh, soldiers just raping indiscriminate women across uh, Ukraine. Absolutely awful. The Dow Jones at the moment is down 1.45. The SP 500 is down 1.54. The NASDAQ is down 1.58. Breaking news across the screen there. Goldman Sachs sees high profitability of OPEC cut and expects oil prices to hit $110 next year. Uh, China is overhyped by the media, but because I'm into, I'm on inverse Apple, I will go along with it being it being bad. Oh man, I uh, I don't do any options trading. It's not for me, and uh, I'm also not in into inverse trading either. That's not for me either. But to good luck to you. Remember, we all love the shorters here on the show because the shorters always win the battle, but always lose the war, and we love all that stuff. Uh, Caden Youngquist, it is. Ha ha, how are you, Caden? How are you? Caden Youngquist over on TikTok. Nice one. Uh, you should be a subscriber here on uh, TikTok and then you'll be recognised as a badge owner and, um, and uh, you could be featured in the show. Anyway, oh, look at this. I have just got a wonderful uh, super chat from Mark Corn just because it's you, Martin. Look at that. That's wonderful. Look at that. Let's do a let's celebrate. Mark Corn just gave me a suit. Look at that. A superb um, <laughs> super chat this morning. Thank you very much indeed. Very, very kind of you. Appreciate that a lot. All right. We've got to celebrate that, haven't we? It's fireworks time. There we go. Uh, cheers, mate. Really, thank you very much indeed. Mark Corn. There you go. He's got his name up on the screen there. What a what a wonderful gesture. Mark will actually be, um, or many of you will, will be uh, one year old soon with your um, memberships. Um, so get ready to celebrate those. Uh, golden era for Britain and Chinese relationship is over. UK uh, Prime Minister Rishi Sunak says, yes, I read that last night. Um, indeed, that is over. We are covering as well the football today. We've got uh, several matches to cover. We are covering uh, the Netherlands and Qatar at, in one hour from now. Here is the uh, the latest situation. There you go. It's uh, starting at nine o'clock. We're also covering uh, Wales, England, Iran and the United States of America. Huge day for the United States today. Huge day for um, uh, um, England as well. So there you go. Uh, let's have a look. Stephen Bill. Good morning, Stephen Bill. How are you? How are you this morning? Now, you might notice uh, we do have um, memberships. Um, they start at uh, blue, then go green. Uh, then they go uh, yellow, gold, and then red. Okay. The narrative rumbles on, says Running Diary. 
Uh, Biden urges Congress to pass legislation to revert nationwide rail strike. We've got to get that sorted out. That will get you a cup of coffee. Yes. Yes, it certainly will, Mark Corn. Damn right it will. Thank you very much indeed. Nice England and Iran double. Yes. It's going to be a very busy day. We're going to cover it live this afternoon. We'll be live um, watching the football at the same time as investing here on the show. So uh, a big, big day. Anyway, let's go back to our main position. Here we go. We are at the moment uh, moving back up again. 0.9. Looking pretty good. The yield curve signals recession brewing. That's some uh, breaking news just coming out now at the moment. Here we go. Yield curve signals recession brewing. Faces crisis after Agnelli entire board resign. Um, we're getting ready for the open. We've got just half an hour to go. And uh, the portfolio is coming up. Some great news coming in from our researcher, the Church of Logic, this morning. For consumers, that means cheaper than expected fuel and gasoline prices are expected to fall below last year's level by Christmas, according to Opus. Thank you very much, Church, for all your great, um, great new breaking news items. We really appreciate it. Um, good stuff. Love it. All right. We're, st we're moving up slightly. Let's keep our eye on the overall position and uh, we can uh, have a look here. You can see my overall position is at 0.9 today, looking pretty good. Uh, we've just gone past the hour. So it's time for our on the, on the button um, quick uh, commercial break. You can skip the ad uh, if you are a um, premier customer. You can skip the ad. I'll be right back in 10 seconds from now. All right, we're back again with you. Thank you very much indeed for staying with us. We're live with you up to 10 hours a day, five days a week. We're always here and uh, we're trying to grow the best YouTube channels in the world. We have two. We have this channel and we have my music channel. Now, if you've not yet uh, checked out my music, I am actually the World Piano Man. And as a member, you can have a celebration, a 20-minute concert as a silver member, a birthday celebration as a bronze member. There is my YouTube channel in the chat. Please go and, uh, as you subscribe to me here on YouTube for the, day, for the uh, investor channel, please always check out my music channel because it gets overlooked sometimes. But of course, it is my passion. It is the music channel on the homepage of my YouTube channel. So anyway. Uh, Rob uh, just said, join us live with Martin on YouTube for interaction. Look at that. What a legend. Martin Lucas Investor. That's right. Thank you very much, Rob. Some great uh, stuff coming up this week. Satoshi Nakamoto, alias Dr. Craig Wright, uh, pseudonym, whichever way you want to put it, whichever way around you want to say it. I'm in conversation with him about coming onto my show. How about that? Uh, the creator and inventor of Bitcoin coming on my show. How about that? Um, very, very excited about that. We've got the CEO uh, of uh, Handcash and co-founder of, of Handcash coming on on Friday. We've got Jerome Powell speaking on the show tomorrow. Not literally here. The other guests are actually coming on the show. You understand what I'm saying? I was going to have a £20 bet on the match, but I, but I put it on the S&P instead. That's the effect you're having on me, Martin. Do you know what, Andrew Grady? I think that's the best move you've, you've made. Absolutely. You've not gambled your money away. You've invested it. I think that's the best thing you can do. Uh, Andrew Grady, I don't think you could do a better thing. Uh, the S&P 500, uh, it's why it's a uh, big part of my portfolio. It's 19%. It's what keeps me uh, afloat, to be honest. It holds my money. Uh, the 18 grand sitting there. I've got the dividends that pay out regularly. Uh, you know, it's um, it's free money. It doesn't, it, it, it you know, it uh, holds itself. It. I, I mean... Church has often said he doesn't see, he doesn't understand why people buy the S and P five hundred and the stocks within the S and P five hundred, and we've we've discussed that why I've done that. But if you have, I believe, a good foundation of your finances, that can uh, that can see you out. It calms the nerves. It gives you a base to build on. You know, we all know you can make more money being highly speculative. We all know I can make more money putting money, my money on Shiba Inu if it pops up. You know, or 
or anything, even like Virgin Galactic, we all know that can pop up more than uh, than uh, VU, SPY, you know, the, the uh, S&P 500, we know that. But we also need to protect our money as well. Remember, anyone can make money on the stock market. Very, very easy to make money on the stock market. The hard part is to keep it. The hard part is to keep it. Everything in life is a gamble. So are stocks. Um, I don't see. I don't see this as gambling at all. Um, there, there's an element of risk. There's an element of um, speculation, and of course, and uh, you know, will it work out? And you might you might regard that as gambling. But the ultimate, ultimately, if you leave your money on the S and P 500 and did absolutely nothing in 10 years, you would be up. There's no doubt about that. Uh, that's history has proven that day to day under the microscope, you're up and down. That's why I buy the dips when it goes down. The job you take is a gamble. What did uh, Hampson just say to that? The church of logic. That's why I'm long. Uh, why my long term portfolio is all on dividend paying stocks. Remember, though, we've discussed that uh, dividend paying stocks are all very well and good. However, the dividend could be paying you less than than the growth of another company, and of course, your the you may be getting a dividend, but the stock, the, your overall growth of that uh, stock could be going down, which outweighs the the dividend. P a lot of people blindly buy a dividend stock and go, "I got free money, I can't lose." Well, first of all, dividends aren't guaranteed. Um, They've always paid out with Coca-Cola and always increased. That's why I own that. So does Warren Buffett. But it also has a growth to it. So there's a decent there's a decent uh, dividend. Look, 2.78 on, on, which is not the best. We all know like Rio Tinto can give you 12, 13. But it also has a steady growth. And also in times like we're in now, um, it's... Um, it gets bored up because people are fearful and they'll put their money in in Coke, J and J, and McDonald's. These three, um, these these three defensive stocks. They make me money. They earn me a, a dividend. So, you know, don't go all just, you know, just on dividend and no growth. You can get a bit of both sometimes. Um, Let's have a little look here. I'm in for about 15 years and ignoring silly bets and purchases and putting into stocks is my new mindset. Good for you, Andrew Grady. I mean, look, the ultimate thing about all of this, right, is to decide what is your target? What are you looking to do? I am not trying to beat anyone else. I'm not trying to time the market. Nobody can. Those who say they can just get it right. And then they tell everybody that the moment they got it right. It's just like a gambler. They don't tell you when they lose. I am just trying to get my portfolio to 100 grand. My, my, my target was end of this year. That is still doable. My portfolio could hit 100 grand by the end of this year, currently at 41,920. It could. Probably won't, but it could. All right. Um, and I'm all I want to do is get a portfolio of 200 grand. Then I will start trimming off the high risk stocks and moving more into the dividend paying stocks. That is my ultimate aim. That's that's all I wish to achieve. I've got no car loan. I've got no mortgage. I've got no debts. All I want to do is get 200 grand go, and have enough money with a state pension from the UK because I intend to retire there in Cornwall in, in the next 15 years. Uh, that's all I need. So that's what I'm working towards. But also, I'm in an extremely privileged position that I am building this YouTube channel and creating a family online, which is what it's all about for me. That's what this is all about. Anyway, let's get ready to go. Um, we've got uh, some, some of our favorite members here today. Uh, rather ETFs and high yields over hoping and praying for a stock to hit $100 from $4. <laughs> Church of Logic. He's, he's obviously talking about Virgin Galactic. I'm just saying. I would not waste money on expensive stocks like Tesla and Apple when I can have a little piece of the pie of everything and doesn't have huge swings. That's Churchy's point there. Good morning, all. Good morning, all. Uh, Queen of Logic. One, uh, the queen, the queen of logic. 
The Queen of Self Braiding live on the show seems to be falling in love with uh, the uh, the Church of Logic. I'm not sure what's going on here, but it does seem to be happening, and they booked me for their wedding. So uh, anyway, everything. Uh, everyone judges gambling, but 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 when the gambler wins, nobody has nothing, right? <laughs> winner and losers in life yeah absolutely can't win without losers you take your chance only people with a lot of money can invest uh and buy everything up and deal with with huge swings we all gamble the queen of logic the wife of church look at this look at it look the wife of church oh my gosh what is going on more romance in the air church of self braiding <laughs> i don't know we've got an online romance is it is that ever happened in the history of the world before? Has it ever happened in the history of the world? It looks like it's happening on our show anyway. Uh, I like a safe bet and take some profits and take... Remember, no one ever lost money by taking profits, right? Uh, Zach is here. Development alert. Uganda is here. Uh, Zach will have a gold uh, badge soon. He's been a member for a long time. Uh, bloody hell is right, says Mike. The queen of logic. Look, we've got love arts flying everywhere. Uh, awesome stuff. Right, uh, we're coming up to 15 minutes before the bell. We are up today at the moment 1%. Uh, let's go back to some more breaking news, see what's going on. The yield, uh, US payroll report due on Friday. We will, we'll, we will actually be checking this out on Friday. Uh, I think today will be quite muted. Everyone is a bit unsure of what's going to happen tomorrow with Jerome Powell, of course. So I expect today to be muted. Tomorrow could be a massive swing either way, so we'll see what happens um, on Wednesday. However, I do think tomorrow could be muted as well because Jerome Powell won't want to say too much because we have, of course, the unemployment figures on Friday. And that is what it's all about. That's what he's looking, he's looking at and we're all looking at. We want to see um, unemployment rise and we want to see a slowdown in the economy. Here we go. Is uh, US at risk of rail strike ahead of holidays? This is what we're talking about at the moment. Uh, as you can see, 17 minutes before the bell goes, we're getting ready. Anyway, exactly the Queen, you, you read my mind. Would love to come to Uganda. Yes, yeah, so would I. I'd like to go to Uganda as well. Maybe we should all go have a little trip. We will always wait for you. There we go. The FT is up 0.6. The CAC is up 0.25. DAX is up 0.01. Today, our European friends, if they strike, the market will go down. Of course, it will. But again, it presents opportunity. This is from yesterday. 1.45. The Dow Jones, S&P 500, uh, down 1.54. And the NASDAQ, down 1.58. Very nice indeed. All right. OK, let's go back again. The S&P 500 is up 0.1 at the moment. Just over 15 minutes to go. Uh, right then, we've got some work to do. How many people are actually uh, watching our show right now? 23 with 14 likes. Well, you know what that means. When that happens, this happens. We need 30 likes. Oh, yeah. We need 30 likes in one minute. Let's do it. Let's get 30 likes on the board. And uh, hang on a minute. What's happened to my timers? So my timers broke. Someone broke my timer. There we go. <laughs> that was a bit of a delay. All right. Okay. We need. Uh, let me let me zoom in for you, so you can see. We need. Uh, we need at least 20 likes. Let's zoom in. Zoom in right here, you can see it there, look, we've got 17 likes, 17 likes right there, look, smash the like button, here's Mr. Mini Me, go on then, smash it, and the reason for smashing the like button is it tells more people about the video, more people will join us, bigger cash giveaways, everybody wins, alright, there we go, smash the like button, we're at 17, 25 seconds to go, boom, cheeky, 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 boom, pow, pow, said a boom, cheeky, 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 Pow, pow, with the real Satoshi. Stand up, say please, stand up, say please, stand up. With the real Satoshi, stand up, Nakamoto. We might have him on the show soon. Yeah, we might have him on the show soon. Craig Wright is, I'm in conversation with Dr. Craig Wright, who allegedly is Satoshi Nakamoto, coming on our show. How about that? 
Oh yeah, right, we got to 17. Half of you haven't liked the video. You're watching it, haven't liked it. We've got a lot of bots. What's going on? Dunno. A lot of bots today. Let me check. Have we gained any subscribers during the show today? We're just coming up to 15 minutes to go before the bell goes. Let's have a quick look. Uh, let's have a quick look at where we are. We've got... Uh, how many, we've had 57 come through the show so far. Okay, we're on target for our 200. 200 a day is what we try to get. And 5,556. Very nice indeed. All right. What was the rap, What was the rapper the rap... What was that rapper, the prapper? I, <laughs> that's my, that's my rapping. Do you not like that? It's very famous here on the show, I'm telling you. It's very, very famous. So, anyway. It's time for, uh, it's time for a prediction. It's time for a prediction. I predict today that we'll have a green day, but only slightly. I think today is going to be muted. Uh, because tomorrow we have Jerome Powell speaking, but he won't say too much, I don't think, until Friday, of course, sell-off Friday, also special guest Friday, also Members Day, uh, we're going to learn about the employment figures. So there you go. Today I predict a slightly green day. A slightly green day. All right. I like the rap, says Church of Logic. Yes, you should like the rap. It's amazing. I'm the best rapper in the world. Um, the Grim Reaper speaking tomorrow. Yes, live on the show. Live on the show. Um, there you go. The Grim Reaper. I like that. Okay. It's time to go to a very, very quick commercial break. See you back in 10 seconds. Uh, 0.75. We hope not. We're pricing in a half. That's what everyone's expecting. Anyway, see you back in 10 seconds from now. Okay, so just under 15 minutes ago now, not long at all. We are waiting and seeing what happens this morning. What do you think? Where do you see the markets going? I see a quite muted day. Um, what do you think? Biden asked Congress to force a rail deal. Uh, Biden has asked Congress to force a rail deal. We know how important that is, of course, because we want to make sure that we don't get a rail strike. Very, very important. Biden asked to co ask Congress to force a rail deal. Indeed, we need that. We don't. We don't want the uh, the rail to go on strike. Of course, everything will be affected by that. We've learned a lot of that from, uh, of course, Church of Logic, who shares that all the time. Congress can't do that. All right, well, as long as it gets done, I don't care how they do it. Uh, <laughs> anyway, just uh, 12 minutes to go. We're up 0.89. S&P is up 0.11. Virgin Galactic's up 0.42. Still, no news. Still no news on Virgin Orbit's flight. Uh, this president has to go, says the Church of Logic. That is union busting. Union busting. Look at that. Bust up the union. Hello. We got a bit of uh, union busting going on here. Tesla is up 0.93. Uh, Rivian is up 0.77. Get ready for the lightning round. Lucid, Lucid up 1.22. Um, arrival. Uh, what do you think? It's getting lower and lower and lower. Is it about to go zero? Uh, I, I think it is. Um, but, you know, I'm just holding a, a very small position there. You never know. Uh, Amazon's up 0.59. It was up a bit yesterday. Still 14% down on Amazon, though. Um, Biden can't even get the Arabs to sell cheap oil, said Hamster1. Uh, let's bring his message on the screen. Um he knows nothing about economics. This is the Church of Logic. Share everyone's comments. We try not to get too political, but we share everyone's comments, of course. All our members, of course, get their messages on the screen as priority. Apple, if you, if you are watching and you'd like to be a member of our channel and get all the perks and benefits that come along with it. US payroll report due on Friday. We're watching that as well. There is the invitation to join. And by the way, we'd like to invite... Everybody, because we are very close now to becoming 500 um, strong on um, Discord. It's free to come onto Discord. Let me give you the invitation. If uh, 
If you are a YouTube member, we also upgrade you so you can call into the show and see the exclusive channels. But there is our Discord channel. If you'd like to come on the Discord, it takes 10 minutes to get through because of the high security that we have on it. We've got 393 um, members now. When we get to 500, we get extra benefits. And when we get to 1,000, we are a public server. So I'm excited about that. Got a long way to go, but 500 is our next target. And we're also trying to get, as you, as I told you before, we're trying to get to a thousand followers on Twitter. We only started a couple of months ago, and uh, I'm very excited to tell you we are now at 487. Just, just a couple of months, so September. Look. Oh, and in fact, more than that now. It's uh, joined t September 21, so it's been over a year. Been over a year actually. It was September 21, but. Uh, there you go. If you'd like to follow me on um, on Twitter, I will give you the uh, the channel name. It's uh, Martin Investor. Links are all below all my videos, of course, but there is the link in the chat. We hope you become a follower. And r when you uh, follow me on Twitter, you need to uh, ring the bell. So if I post anything, you'll be notified of it. Otherwise, you will not. Okay. Is Virgin Orbit due to launch this Thursday? Is it? Well, I've not managed to find any information yet. This Thursday. I know it's imminent. Uh, Sid. Uh, Sid, Sid, Sid. Oh, you're not... Um, Sid, you're not a member. I, I was hoping if you were a member, you could um, you could send the information via Discord. Uh, if you can research that and find it for me, send me... Um, there's the invitation to join. Become a member, and then you can be a researcher for me. Uh, there you go. There's the invitation in the chat. Uh, let's have a little look. Pre-market's already popping. They're up a little bit. I'm at up 0.89. Nothing dramatic, but um, I'm happy with my position at the moment. Uh, we've got just eight minutes to go. Uh, US November non-farm payroll estimate, um, 200K. I'm just keeping an eye on what's going on over there so I can bring you the breaking news as it happens. Um, let's have a quick look at the overall, all the other markets. Let's look at SPY and what the other markets are doing around the world. So the Nikkei, sorry, New Zealand closed up 0.77. Australia closed up 0.33. Nikkei down 0.75. But a great day for Hong Kong. Um, closed 5.24. The DAX is still running, but it's flat. The, the FTSE in London is still open. It's up 0.59. And of course, we haven't yet opened here in the US, um, but we're keeping our eye on it right now. Okay, let's get back to it. If you've just tuned in, welcome to everybody this morning. We've got our cash giveaway coming up on Friday. Has everyone entered the cash giveaway? Are you in? Um, oh, by the way, if you want to ask me a question, go into the, click the plus sign and you can actually ask me a question. Uh, here we go. Ask, uh, what, 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 hang on. Ask me a question here. And we highlight your question as well. This only works on uh, desktop and um, iPads uh, at the moment. I don't think it's on phones just yet. Ask me a question. So if you ask me a question, it'll, it'll appear and I can select it and um, highlight your question and we can discuss it. And we can e even have a poll if you're a member as well. Anyway, the S&P 500 is up 0.1%. Um, Virgin Galactic is up 0.42. We'll get ready to go for all our stocks in a few minutes. We're still up 0.87. Virgin Orbit, we're looking out for that news if we can find it. For those of you who didn't yet see my video about the, th the, th the thousand flights, the, th the thousand, the thousand flights for Virgin Galactic, here is the video. It's doing very well. Open only only um, launched um, fourteen hours ago, and it's done nearly half, or in fact, more than half of the video. That's five days old. Look at this thousand flights. If you've not yet checked this out, here is the video. You need to go. It's it's on the videos on the homepage of the channel, and. Uh, if you are a Virgin Galactic investor and you want the stock to grow, here is the story about, about the, uh, the thousand flights. 
You'll learn all about it. Here is it in the chat. Go and watch it all the way through. It's about five minutes long, I think. Something like that. Uh, no, is it three and a half minutes long? Yeah. And leave a comment below the video. That uh, helps. I've just posted it in the chat for you. Right. Morning from the UK. Bav Mystery. Good morning, Bav Mystery. How are you this morning? Welcome, welcome. Uh, I want to do a big shout out today to our new members. We got upgrades to gold membership yesterday, which is our third highest um got bronze, silver, gold, platinum and investor. But uh, gold members, we got an upgrade from um, Real Ray yesterday and uh, Portland Trailblazer, a gold members. They get some really, go really good uh, perks. They can uh, have one-on-one -on -one Zoom calls with me two hours a month to help them build their channels out and do stuff like that. But anyway, what is a good ticker to invest at the moment? Well... These are all my stocks. This is all, this is my entire portfolio. I will. Do you want to see my entire portfolio? You have to be a member. <laughs> I was going to say. Uh, I was just about to share that with you and go through the full list. But if you want to be a member, I will share with you my full portfolio on a list right now in front of you. Go through very quickly and tell you what I've got and show you all the percentages. And my portfolio is started out at five thousand dollars. And it's up to 41.8. I do anticipate to be at 100,000 potentially at the end of this year, if not 200,000 by the end of next year. That's my aim. That's what I'm, I'm working for, working towards. All right. The S&P 500 is up 0.1 today. Virgin Galactic is also up. Virgin Orbit up 4.48. I'm up, I'm up 4.48 uh, or total, in fact, uh, today's return is total return is just one percent, so not worth selling anything yet. But my average is 277, so I am in the green on uh, Virgin Orbit. I could sell it, make a small profit if I wanted to. Right, we're coming into two and a half, two and a quarter minutes to go. Are you ready? My prediction today is uh, a muted green day. Uh, the FTSE is up 0.62, the CAC is up 0.25, DAX is, uh, is uh, down 0 0.03, Tesla is moving up right now, so uh, we're getting ready, we've got just two minutes to go, Tesla is moving up again, we've got good news of course um, with Tesla because of the semis, um, that's all good. Excited about that. But of course, Tesla having a Chinese factory is a bit muted by all the Chinese um, um, interruption at the moment. Anyway, getting ready to go. Just over a minute and a half to go. We're about to bring up the clock. We need 30 likes by the time the bell rings. Otherwise, I'm going to run three ads back to back. You ready? Okay, let's get ready. Let's bring up the timer. We've got uh, one minute and 10 seconds to go. I need 30 likes by the time the bell goes. Are you ready? Here we go. We're at, we're at 18 likes right now. There's enough people watching the show. Here we go. One minute. Smash the like button. Here we go. We're about to ring the bell on the New York Stock Exchange. There we go. We're up to 19 likes now. 43 seconds to go. We've got the lightning round, the moment of 20 likes. We're moving up. You can have your question or you can poll a question in the live chat. You can also call into the show as well if you want to be live on the show. You do that through Discord. Do you rely on technicals much? A Bollinger, bands, etc. Um, technicals, I'll discuss. Hang on a minute. We're just about to ring the bell. Hang on. I'll come back to that. 15 seconds to go. Good luck, uh, chaps. See you all next next time to stay lucky. Hamsters off. Right, here we go. We got five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. The bell has now gone. Here we go. And we're on 20 likes. Now, here we go. Where's the portfolio going to go? And let's go through the lightning round as well. Okay, we're up 1.27. Uh, where are we going to go? The first 15 minutes is the most volatile of the day. We've hit 42 grand. We got up to 49,000, of course. Um, but we lost all that. Uh, that pulled back quite quickly. 
So here we go. We are holding at the moment. Nothing selling off at the moment. Right, the, the S&P 500 has dropped. So what has pumped us up this morning? Because we've lost on the S&P. Uh, I'm trying to buy it much, much lower than this, by the way. Uh, an all-time low buy. Virgin Galactic, there we go. Back, moving back up again now. Up 168, 179, doing nicely. There we go. What about Virgin Orbit? Virgin Orbit is taking a drop. I'm down now 2.43. I bought in yesterday at 2.68. Waiting for the flights on Thursday, we think. We haven't confirmed that. Um, let's keep going. Tesla is falling back a bit. I'm still up. I'm at 1.16. Tesla's now come back up again. And uh, that's that's where the money's being made now. Virgin Galactic up 2%, 4.86, moving up nicely. Uh, let's go through. We've got uh, Lucid up 1.31. We've got Arrival is up 2.25. We've got App Amazon today down 0 0.0, down 0.13. Overall portfolio now is up. And we are up to uh, 1.18, 41,951. Amazon is just down slightly. Vorb is up seven. Hang on. What's happening with Virgin Orbit? I've got some breaking news. Virgin Orbit, 8%. Here we go. We've got a bit of a bounce here on Virgin Orbit, $2.90. Virgin will go bankrupt. And, and uh, I don't see that happening at all. Uh, they've got plenty of money in the bank, and the share price is just the price of the cash on the books. At least it was when I bought it at my average. Virgin Orbit is up 8.21. There we go. Uh, it's just fallen back a little bit. Some breaking news for you. We'll, we'll carry on. We'll come back to it. Uh, McDonald's is down 0.65. Coca-Cola, people are taking money out of their staples now to, to buy the risk stocks. There you go. You can see them selling off slightly. Not much. Uh, Google is, is, is down, but moving up very quickly. Microsoft is up 0.08. I'm up nearly four. Oh, Microsoft now is moving very. Oh, look at Microsoft 0.28 moving nicely. I'm up nearly 4%. I am kidding you. I thought, I thought you were being serious then. Uh, Meta is up 1.33. I'm still down 4.65. My overall portfolio is now up 1.2. So far is up 1% looking very good. I'm up 22 I'm sorry, I'm down 22%, but who knows, right? Yeah, I mean, no one knows. No one knows for certain. IonQ is down 0.2. Uh, PayPal, I'm out of the stock. That's down a day. Uh, Rolls Royce, I'm also out of that, but that's also down a day. Walmart is down slightly, but I'm up 25% on Walmart. I made a decent amount of money on Walmart. Target is also up 8.81. I'm now at 1.34. Uh, Tesco, I am up on Tesco. Very exciting stuff. Uh, we are 1.66 now. We are really uh, starting to warm up. On, I'm out on the stock. Tilray Brands is up 0.95 as well. Looking pretty good. We've also got uh, Ginkgo Bioworks up 1.36. Enphase Energy is uh, down is up 0.22. Um, Bitcoin uh, SV is down 0.95. Bitcoin is uh, down 0.38. Uh, Ethereum is up 0.33. And uh, that's back to my channel. We've already see, you don't need to see that right now. Right up one point five five six hundred forty four dollars. Okay, I predicted at the beginning of the show it would be a green day, but I said a muted green day, preparing for tomorrow. We if we're going to hold a, if we're going to hold green, we've got to hold for another twenty minutes. Uh, this is the this is the opening salvo in the in the morning, so it's not all over yet. The fat lady hasn't started to sing yet. Uh, let me have a look. Let me have a look. Bear market remains. What, what, what have we got here? No, I thought we had some information there. Stocks mixed on rates. China outlook. Yeah, a lot of uh, uncertainty with China. But there we go. We're doing all right, though, today. Up 1.61. If I get any breaking news, um, I'll bring it to you. We've got the S&P 500 now up 0 0.02. We've got the NASDAQ up 0.12. Uh, not so bad. Let me see if I can um, bring this in. And uh, where would I have put this? Where would I have put this? Uh, ML ticker, not that one there. Uh, YouTube, not that one there. Uh, I've got a new. I've got a new thing. Not that one. Uh, let me see if I can find it. Mini screen. Oh, there we go. Mini screen. Let's see if I can bring this information in here. There you go. Let's have a look at that. Uh, 
There you go. Some some breaking more information there I can share with you. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Right. Back to our main... Um, I don't know if that's going to show. Is that going to always be there? No. That's good. Just making a slight tweak. So it's quite muted today. There we go. It's going back down again. That's exactly what I said. I, I do think I'll be green, but I do think today will be quite muted because we are all a bit like, well, where are we going with Jerome Powell tomorrow? But of course, he'll be a little bit muted until Friday when we learn more on the unemployment figures. And we're looking to see, you know, bad news is good news for us right now. Right. Are we able to make some money this morning with um, the S&P 500 going back down? Still up 1.65. Virgin Galactic is up. Um, we've had a nice little pop this morning, but we've lost it on Virgin Orbit. It was up uh, 4.48, down to 2.76. So I was actually in the money for a while. Oh, thank you very much indeed. Leah's just brought me uh, a drink in. Thank you, Leah. Here's my cup of coffee. Virgin Orbit going back up again. Tesla, 183. I've got a buy at 160. Um, so uh, it's got a long way to go back down to there. Don't, th don't think it's going to do that now. Not with the semis now landing. And everybody's seeing the uh, excitement around that. Rivian is, down, is up today, 0.77. Lucy is up one. Um, Arrival. Who thinks Arrival is going to go bankrupt? I still think it is. Uh, stocks, stocks mixed on rates, China outlook. We're keeping an eye on what's going on. Oh, here we go. The overall portfolio is now up 1.5. That must be Virgin Galactic. Yes, it is. Up 2.94. It's popped up nicely. The Virgin Orbit is also trying to recover. And the S&P has also recovered slightly. Let's have a look at uh, Amazon. Just green. It's gone red now. There we go. Apple's also gone red. A lot of stress around Apple with uh, China right now. I am looking to buy Apple, but I can't buy it until it goes to 130. Uh, so we're looking for 130. It's quite a way down. Down 6%. I could buy some more Apple um, and lower my average, but it's not my all-time low, and that's my strategy. So uh, there you go. The last time I bought Apple was... Uh, 145. Um, is that the lowest I've ever bought it? Let me have a look. What have I bought Apple at? Uh, 145, 169, one, oh, 141, 141, 141, 156, one, yeah, 141, if you look here, is my lowest, 141. So what's, uh, what is it right now? This is my just personal strategy, 141. Yeah, see, I bought it at 141, so why would I want to, why would I want to pay 143? I wouldn't, right? Uh, love the coverage, it feels like play-by-play -play coverage of a football game. <laughs> Grey and Blue Hoya, welcome, welcome, welcome to our show. Uh, you're very, very welcome here. We're trying to grow the best YouTube channels channels on the world. We have two, this one and the music channel. We go live up to 10 hours a day. We've raised over a million dollars for our members on my music channel. We're here to support charities, help people. We have cash giveaways every Friday. You can call in live to the show, and I've got a membership program which benefits you, and it helps to support my channel by going live 10 hours a day, because uh, making videos is the way to make money on YouTube. I prefer to build a community, so it's the members that, su that make it all possible. So if you want to su support our channel and be part of it, and then get rewarded 20 times back what you put in, here's the invitation to join. But we are promoting today our Discord channel, it's free to join our Discord channel and you can uh, get many perks and benefits there as well. You can even call in live to the show once you've been upgraded as a YouTube member. There's our Discord. And if you want to talk to me as well and watch what I'm doing in between shows, I'm also on uh, Twitter. Uh, sorry, I'm also on... Um, where is it? Where's my Twitter gone? There's my Twitter. It's all below the videos. Every Everything is below every... Everything is below every... Um, video but there is the twitter i'd love you to follow me on twitter as well martin investor on twitter okay 
Good morning, uh, China protests. Yes, it's awful what's going on in China. That's from my friends over there on TikTok. How are you this morning? Lovely to have you here. Robin Hood's going, trying to push back up. McDonald's sold off this morning. Still up 11%. That's okay. The reason for that is um, uh, the staples, the defensive stocks, Coca-Cola, J&J, all sold off this morning. All comfortably up, however to buy some of these high-risk stocks like Tesla, which are bounding up, and once they uh, take a profit, they'll buy back into uh, those, I'm sure. Right, Virgin Galactic today up 2.42. Virgin Orbit, we think the flights are on Thursday. Someone mentioned, I've not confirmed that yet. If you've not yet checked out this video here, uh, I'm talking about the 1,000 flights from Virgin Galactic, this is the video. If you've not yet checked it out, um, a thousand flights. We were talking to Virgin Galactic yesterday. We had a, we had a great um, insight from uh, Virgin Galactic. Here is the, the the link to the video. Please go and like it and comment below. And uh, there it is in the chat for you. That right there. Right, forty two thousand again now. That's better, right? I like it. Back up to 42. Uh, we're keeping an eye. Uh, these are the early movers this morning. Let's have a little look. That's moving this morning. We've got Billy Billy um, up today. Coinbase, Etsy, Amazon today. These are the movers today we are looking at. You can have a quick look there. Uh, gives you an idea of what's going on. We've got uh, record 3 billion Exodus hits. Uh, credit ETF uh, in abrupt risk uh, reversal. There you go. That's what's happening this morning. You can see uh, the Billy Billy is up 20% this morning. Coinbase is up 1.76. <coughs> I'm surprised to see uh, <coughs> Coinbase bounce up. But anyway, good morning, Shad. Good morning, Shad. How are you this morning? Thanks for being here. Welcome to our welcome to our show. We are holding now 1.32. My prediction this morning was um, that we'd be up today, a green day, but muted. And uh, this is kind of a gr this is green, and we're muted because of the Jerome Powell's uh, speech tomorrow. But he'll be muted because he'll be looking for the unemployment figures on Friday. All right. If you've just tuned in, subscribe or ring the bell. Let us know you're here. Come into the chat and give us a thumbs up. All right. Thank you very much indeed. Hi, great mate. Hope you're good. Yes, I'm well. I'm well, actually. I'm all well. <laughs> here we go. Uh, I am here, like always, on a green day. Market profit. Um, <clears throat> just wanted to ask now, because it's been another couple of months. Is there any chance you could be a member on this channel? Um, as you, I, th I think you, you're a member on another one, but I don't know if it's expired. I just want to keep it so people know when I feature people and I put them on the screen, they are members. We're getting busier and busier. We've got 99 members now. We're getting busier every day, and I want to focus and keep it, you know, really strict on members get priority and so on. And sometimes people get confused why I'm, I'm a member with the other channel. I know. Um, is there any way you can actually? be in with the other channel as a member then, or make this one a member. It's only because I want people to understand that members get featured, and I do feature you a lot, and you're not a member, and I, don't, I just don't want people, to, new, new, new guests, to be confused. Uh, it is a bit confusing when I um, have people that aren't members. Anyway, um, <clears throat> Coinbase planning expansion into Europe. I, uh, I, I've been saying I think all the exchanges are going down the toilet. I don't know what you think. But uh, anyway, thank you for that information. Maybe they don't want to lose out on XRP bull run. <laughs> Running diary. There you go. XRP, of course, uh, on Coinbase. I'm not on Coinbase. I have a wallet with Coinbase. But I, I must admit, I've got my fingers burned. I'm a little bit like, yeah, you know what? I like my money. Um, I will cancel now and try to renew it under market profit. Name. Thank you very much. Um, thank you very much indeed, Market. I appreciate that. Makes things like makes things a lot easier um, to do that. Anyway, uh, the S and P five hundred is down point one three. Uh, 
Virgin Galactic is holding at 2.63, Virgin Orbit 3.94. We are looking to find out when Virgin Orbit are going to fly. Um, Amazon kicks off five-part bond sale in second deal of 2022. All right, there you go. Italy prepare 50% windfall tax on energy firms. Excess gains. Okay, that's uh, something to look forward to as well, <laughs> I would imagine. Anyway, we are at that stage again when it's a very t a time for a very, very quick commercial break. Skip the ad, come right back. If you are a YouTube premium member, you won't get to see any of the ads anyway. Uh, here we go. Be right back in 10 seconds from now. <clears throat> okay. Tesla has dropped off from, from what we gained this morning. It was up nicely. It's, it's now gone into the red. I've got buys at 160. Uh, I don't trust centralized exchanges. Self-custody is the way. That's what I'm doing. All, all, all my Bitcoin, apart from, apart from BSV, I've not removed that yet because I, I haven't been able to get it to work using my ledger. Um, if anyone knows the answer to that, let me know. Rivian is up 1% today. Lucid is up 0.48. Arrival is up 2.9. Is, is it going bankrupt? China ramps up vaccination on the elderly. Breaking news here. Just let you know here. China ramps up vaccination on the elderly. Um, it's coming from, from Shanghai right now. Um... Opened, opened some S&P, Tesla and Coinbase puts. There you go. That's 22. Amazon is down 0.45. The answer is sell BSV for XRP. I think I want to keep some, actually. Uh, these are the protests that are happening across China right now. Uh, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that, but Wuhan, isn't that where the... Um, COVID was was uh, supposed to have started, right? Amazon's down now 0.54. I do have buys for Amazon. Uh, I'd love to buy some more Amazon at 85. Long, long, long way down. But you never know. You get these flash crashes and uh, it does happen. So anyway, I've got a buy ready to go. Apple is down 0.42. Same thing with Apple. When you say puts, what does it mean? Um, okay, I will have 22 explain better about options. I am not an options trader, so I will get uh, 22 explained. In fact, if I've got any of my, uh, let me open up the broadcast lounge. If I've got any of my uh, options traders um, who want to explain that in their words, I've opened up the broadcast lounge, okay? The broadcast lounge is now open on Discord. If any of my members want to call in, at the bottom left is the broadcast. You can come on by video or you can come in just by uh, audio and you can call in and you can answer Andrew Grady's question on puts as opposed to calls, options, and I'd like, in your words, obviously I could uh, explain it, but uh, I would prefer it to come from one of our options traders. All right. Let's see if we can get one of our options traders to come in. Um, so, Apple. We're looking to get some more Apple if we can. I will give you I will give you the uh, the official terminology for puts right now, and let's see because we haven't got anybody call in right now. But a put option 
um, is an investment contract given uh, giving an investor the right but not the obligation to sell a stock for a specific specified price within a, within a, within a given period of time, which is why I don't like options. You have to uh, predict a time and a, and a price. Uh, so there you go. A put option. Put options are a type of options contract. Options contract is when you have to buy 100 shares of uh, an asset, which is why very often uh, companies will split, which is what Tesla did, so more people can do options trading, because you have to have 100 shares of it to buy a contract. Uh, these contracts allow the owner to sell a security at a specific price by the date listed in the options contract. Investors buy put options to either hedge long positions or speculate that the price of a specific stock will decline. Okay? So when you're buying a uh, put, you're expecting it to go down. When you're buying a call, you're expecting the contract to go up. Essentially, that is it. Good call yesterday, Martin, on Orbit. Thank you very much indeed. Um, anyway, a call, you expect it to go up. A put, you expect it to go down. Coinbase will go down, I believe so. I'm not buying Coinbase, no. No, 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 no. Anyway, let's have a look at Virgin Orbit right now. Uh, I'm up at the moment, 0.66, a very small return. Not much point selling it for that, uh, unless I think or believe or know that it's going to go down very quickly. But anyway, thanks, 22. Uh, 22 also put some information in the chat. There we go. Andrew Grady, options to sell shares at a certain price to strike at a certain future date. The idea is that the share value drops lower than the strike price before the option expires. It sounds complicated, and it is, but it isn't when you start looking at it. But it's just not for me. Uh, thanks, Martin. Seems too risky for me. Yeah, it, options trading is advanced. You shouldn't even... I, I don't do options trading. You shouldn't even consider options trading until you're really, really confident and familiar and have, and have had success just buying stocks like I do, regular way. Don't even look at options yet. And certainly don't look at options with margin. Um, anyway, basically, if the share price falls below the strike price, you're in the money. There you go. That's essentially what he's talking about. Whereas if you do a call, you expect it to go up. Don't agree on puts on Tesla. Um Says Church, as much as I hate that car, that stock can pop at any moment. Yes, that stock can pop at any moment. So if you've got a put, you're going to be out of it, and then that sh that creates a short squeeze, and that's when uh, the uh, the owners of those contracts have to uh, get out of them or whatever they want to do. But uh, that's how they can be forced to buy in, and and that's when you get a short squeeze. Everyone bullish is buying it, and everyone bearish who he who held put contracts, they're also buying it, and that's what's called a short squeeze, and that's why a stock suddenly rallies. And with uh, Tesla, Church is absolutely right, this could suddenly pop up. Elon Musk could say something on Twitter, <laughs> right, as the, as the king twit, or whatever he calls himself, and this stock could rally very, very quickly. Break-even point is what to aim for. I love options. Never do options on margin. Yeah. You really, you, yeah, basically what you're doing now is gambling with the house's money. So it's one thing to gamble, but when you're gambling with the house's money, then obviously it's, and it's very high risk then. It, uh, it is risky in a way, but very safe in another way. The maximum you can lose is the premium paid. They are, there are limited downside and a very big return on the upside. He's right there. He's right there. Um, he's got a, he's, he's, is right. Well, however, if you buy a stock like I do and the stock goes to zero, you lose everything, right? Well, you don't, you only lose what you paid for the contract. So he's right. We don't want to, we don't want to paint the picture. Um, you know, that options trading is all bad. It's not you just need to understand it. You can only lose what you put in. Uh, that's right. When you buy stocks, you can go down a thousand for months. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Since I tried 50 times leverage and lost $100 a pound in five seconds, <laughs> I think I'll stick to buying stocks. Yeah. Andrew Grady, I'm going to give you an example of that right now. I'm, I'm, I'm going to give you an example of what the reason why I'm a, why I'm a stock, stock investor rather than an options trader. First of all, I, I don't 
I don't think I can predict anything, even though we have fun with the, the you know, the, um, the crystal ball. I can't predict anything, and neither can anybody else. You just get lucky, right? I certainly can't predict a stock price by a certain time. Well, that's what you're essentially doing by buying options, right? Now, it's like going, and, I, and I've used this analogy before, I think. It's like going to a realtor or an estate agent. I think you're from the UK, aren't you? Yeah, you're from Cornwall, right? Going to an estate agent, that's what they call it in the UK, and saying, right, I want to buy this house, okay? If you actually buy the house, that's like buying the stock, all right? You actually own the house. If the house goes down in value, your house goes down in value. If it goes up in value, your house goes up in value, right? But you own the house. At some point in the future, your house is going to go up in value, right? Historically, that's what we've learned, okay? That's what it is to buy the a stock. You actually own a piece of the pie. It's your piece of the pie. You own it. If it goes down in value, you still own it. You don't lose any money because if you don't sell it when it goes down, you've lost nothing, right? You only you only sell it when it goes up and then you make money, right? Uh, that's it. Straightforward, very simple, limited risk because you're assuming you're not buying a stock that's going to go bankrupt. I mean, like, for example, Amazon, Apple, you know, Microsoft, Google, they're not going bankrupt, are they? They're 10 years from now are going to be worth more. It's like buying a house, right? You own a piece of the pie. However, if you decide to go up to your estate agent and say, I would like to buy a contract, I would like you to write me a contract. Uh, I've got no obligation, but just in case I decide to buy the house, I can at a certain price by a certain date. The estate agent, realtor in the US, will, will draw you up a contract and you will pay him. You've already paid money. You've paid money, right? Now you decide not to buy the house or things don't go so well, right? You haven't got the house, but you've still paid him some money, okay? So for me, that's one of the reasons why I don't like it. Now, it's... That's a very basic way of putting it, of course, and there's way more to it than that. But um, I like to own a piece of the pie and hold it, and then I'm okay in the future. That's how I look at it. Anyway, uh, like Martin said last week, losing money made me a better investor. Yeah, if you lose money, you learn the best lessons. Making money, you don't learn anything. When I first started investing was the best and the worst time ever. Because I actually spoke to a guy on the NASDAQ floor, a manager of the, Na uh, of the New York Stock Exchange. And I went, I can't lose, mate. I'm brilliant. I remember, I remember talking to him at a meeting at, at a party I was actually doing. Uh, not a meeting, a party I was doing. And I was telling him how great I was. I keep winning. He, must have, he was smiling and he was polite. And he, but he must have thought, you're an idiot. <laughs> Everyone's winning right now. Everyone's making money right now. You're not the only one, mate. Um, and, uh, I, you know, I was winning and everybody was because after COVID, everyone was buying stocks, stocks were rallying. It was all it was all crazy and all the rest of it. And uh, everybody was doing great. And I told him, I said, I can't lose. I'm brilliant. I'm the best ever. I'm the best investor in the world. And um, I learned nothing. I just thought, well, you know, my parents always told me in time the stock market goes up. And, but what they meant was, yes, the stock market goes up over 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, 50 years not five minutes. And of course, I was, I was five minute man. I was, every day I was up. This is brilliant. Of course, I learned nothing. And then when it started dropping, it was painful. That's when I started learning stuff. And uh, then I realized, hang on a minute, the stock market can go down very quickly, uh, just as fast, if not faster than it went up. So you learn from losing, not gaining anything. If everyone tells you you're brilliant, tells me I'm the best YouTuber in the world, what am I learning? Nothing. I'm just getting a big head. Whereas everybody says, this is better, you, this, you, you grow and you advance and you learn stuff. Anyway, um, I don't believe in stock market really. I, just, I, I, I want to just invest and get it over with. I win, I win, I lose, I lose. <laughs> I've been doing quite well with straddles recently, buying a put and a court, the same strike price. I, I, I make money if the price moves either way by more than the premiums paid. That's, that's a good way of doing it. A lot of people do that. Very good, 22. That's why I love selling options. You write the contract. There you go. That's what Carl, Ryan Carlson says. Yeah, get 100 shares or more in any company, you get free money. 
Um, we probably need to have a, a you know, a, a, a day of learning options, I think, um, and learn more into it. Anyway, maybe we should have an options day. Ryan Carlson, but unlimited risk when selling options, when you buy options, the risk is limited to the premium. A, making, a, a monkey could have made money th throwing darts at a board on the run after COVID drop. Yeah, I know. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? I'm talking to a manager of the floor of the New York Stock Exchange who's been in it all his life. And I'm telling you, he must have thought, what a clown. What a clown. Anyway, you learn, right? I can't face that guy again now. Uh, I, I feel like, uh, you know, he must have thought I was an idiot. But there you go. A monkey could have made money. Uh, prison stocks are booming. <laughs> They're always booming for you, Ch uh, Churchy. Uh, yes, it uh, has, to, has to be uh, a stock you want. But instead of buying 100 shares, get some premium while at it. There you go, Ryan Colson. It has to be the stock you want. But instead of buying 100 shares, getting some premium while at it. HSPC up. I got a few yesterday. Selling contracts, you get the premium. Church of Logic. Privatized prisons were the end of freedom. <laughs> HSBC is putting up retail interest rates. TO roll, but the monkey still needed the right timing. Yes, yes, true, true indeed. That this is this is why I think some money. Uh, this is why I think some money move from stocks to FX. Um, I'm not sure of that comment. If you rephrase that, investing today is very different than investing 20 years ago. Uh, here we go. This is some wise information now. Previously, you used to be able to invest based on company earnings and fundamentals. Now, the only thing that matters is rates and the Fed. See? Different world there. Coming from market profit. Right. We are up still. Up 0.57. Very nice indeed. Just gone 9 o'clock. You know what time that is. Time for a quick commercial break. See you back in uh, 10 seconds from now. Here we go. And we are back with you once again. Thank you for staying with us this morning. Um, another busy day today, of course. Tomorrow and the rest of the week gets even busier. Got a lot going on this week. Market profit, agree with that. Market is like a is a crack addict now. <laughs> crack addict. I like it. Thanks for the follows over there on TikTok. Much appreciated. Right. Let's see uh, if we've got anybody on Twitch today other than Mike. Mike's always there. Now then, I'm going to share with everybody. I'm really, 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 really surprised. We only have eight subscribers on Twitch. It's free using Amazon Prime. And the first Friday of the month, which will be next Friday, we're giving away a cash prize to our subscribers. We've only got eight. It's free using Amazon Prime Gaming. Just go to Amazon Prime, Amazon Prime turn on gaming, go, link it to your Twitch account, and it's free. And every month, make sure you renew it. And most of you have forgotten. That's why it's gone down to eight. I cannot believe it. And uh, you've got a one in eight chance of winning. And obviously, you've got to be here in the show. Everyone should. Everyone here has Amazon Prime. Everyone should be a subscriber to me on Twitch. I don't know why. It helps grow the channel, helps get more people into YouTube. Uh, so we get bigger cash prizes, we grow, and there's a free cash prize. And if the quality isn't very good on Twitch, like you can see, I'm seeing this sort of fluttering going on right now you just lower the resolution because they can't uh, deal with the uh, the high resolution that i broadcast here on uh, youtube all right anyway there you go the s p is just trying to come up again uh we're still up 0.56 i said it'd be green today and i said it'd be muted and that's exactly what's happening because we're waiting for tomorrow and i think tomorrow could be muted as well because Jerome Powell won't know what which way to well, he won't he, he knows which way to go, but he won't know what the unemployment figures are until Friday. So there you go. Virgin Galactic is uh, four up to two percent today. Yeah, the market is just not the same anymore. Yeah, since I start since I started right, 
since I got involved. I've ruined it. It's my fault. Uh, 281, up 4.85 now. I'm in the money. I'm up today 1.5. I'm up overall 1.54. Shall I sell my Virgin Orbit? <laughs> Um, what do you reckon, church? Should I sell it and make a $15 profit? What do you reckon? What do you reckon, churchy? Should I sell it, make 15 bucks? All this retail apps and stuff changed everything. Yes, it did. Um, uh, we're going for a transitional period. Rivian is up. Sell. Buy back. <laughs> You're joking, right? I'm only up, bloody, I'm only up 1.54. No, no point selling. Yeah, I mean, the flight's probably on Thursday, right? I mean, I don't know. Someone mentioned it, but I don't, I don't know. You told me it wasn't worth selling yesterday. You went, oh, no, I'm not selling. I'm not selling. Uh, you know, I was at 5%. Oh, I see. Okay. <clears throat> Sold. Rivian. Lucid. Arrival. Amazon, buy and back after Grim Reaper speaks. <laughs> I like it. Apple down. Agree, says uh, Running Diary. Uh, Robin Hood is at 1.6. McDonald's is down but moving up. Coca-Cola is down 0.4. I got buys on absolutely everything. How's my SoFi? Let me just let me just get through to my SoFi a minute. Google is, is picking up. It's Microsoft picking up. Meta, up today, 0.74. SoFi, here we go. Up 2.26. There we go. 21% down. It's a marathon, not a race. Absolutely right. SoFi. So did I do well with my SoFi? Uh, I think so. I've learned my averages. Um, not by huge amounts. Um, but I have. But I have. Yesterday I bought at, uh, well, I mean, it's, it's 4.56 now. I bought yesterday at 4.56, uh, 50 shares yesterday at 4.56. So there we go. This is where I bought in yesterday. Billy Billy doing well. Yeah, we brought that information to you earlier on the show. We uh, brought that to you. Yes, it's not one of my investments. Um, market Profit says lots of distortions in the markets. The price discovery function was removed by the Fed as they eliminated downside from markets over the last two decades. Now price discovery is slowly returning. Price discovery is slowly returning. My newest investment lately, uh, Lights F. How are you, Lights F? Um, over there on Twitch. Thank you for keeping my Twitch. Oh, great. We've got three viewers now on Twitch. Thank you. Basically, keep it here on YouTube. But if you can, open another tab on uh, Twitch. It helps us grow. Subscribe using Amazon Prime Gaming. And uh, it gives me more money to give away. I basically give you what I get. All right. Okay. Doge is volatile. I wouldn't buy it. Best to sell often and buy back in negative sentiment. And wait for Elon tweet. <laughs> yeah. Very good. See, that's not investing, is it? Is that investing? It's kind of if I mean, is it is it investing? I don't know. I don't know if that's investing or not. Anyway, you decide. Uh, so far, so back up to where I bought it yesterday. Got an average of um, two eighty on Virgin Orbit. Now, what's my average now? Uh, Virgin Orbit, Vorb, Vorb, Vorb. Mine's two seventy seven. Very close to you. Very very close to you. Churchy. Um, energy equities outlook. Oh, I missed that. I've got some. I, was, I had some news there, but uh, I missed it anyway. Um, confidence among U.S. consumers declines for a fourth month low. That's what we need. That's good. Uh, we got some information from China here. China stocks surge in U.S. as vaccine drive fuels reopen bets. We certainly want that to happen. That would be great for Tesla and great for Apple. Did you buy the drops? European stocks are muted as investors weigh uh, policy. Uh, China news. Yes, that's what I said today would be muted. And it is. 
I'm glad the markets agree with me. Uh, I have a thousand so far now. What do I have? What's my so far? Uh, 456. I'm slowly accumulating. I've got another buy. I think my next buy is at four bucks. I like it. There we go. We're now making money from yesterday's investments. It's gambling and speculation. Uh, that's why the market needs to implode to get ro to get rid of all these degenerates trying to buy lottery tickets with hope of being a millionaire overnight. Exactly. We don't like that. But as I say, every type of investor, every type of trader benefits invest benefits me. I don't I don't mind shorters. They always lose. They always win the battle, but always lose the war. Shorters are what create short squeeze, pump up a stock as well. I don't mind that. I don't mind it all. And when people are ranting and raving on Twitch and so not Twitch, sorry, Reddit and, and Twitter, it promotes a stock as well. It draws attention to it. Not always in a good way, however, but it draws attention to it. So there's always opportunity in every situation. Uh, is space not speculation? Is space not speculation? No, see, I don't see it space speculation. I see it written on the wall as clear as day that space is the future. How can anyone not think that, in my opinion? How can you not think space is the future? I don't see how you cannot think that. But anyway, that's just me. Um, anyway, so far is my bank now. Credit card, etc. I'm loving it. Ah, do you know what I've I so so I've I've been looking at it, I've been looking at it. But you see, that's why I invest in Robin Hood as well, because in my opinion, Robin Hood is also uh, a bank. It's a brokerage. I get it. I use it as a brokerage, but it's also, in my opinion, a bank. It uh, it allows you to earn money on uninvested cash. It pays you a it pays you more money than you get with a bank, so it uh, is good from that point of view. It offers a debit card, a credit card's coming as well. Uh, it's got saving plans, so uh, it's 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 a bank as well. And you can use the debit card to set up to pay to make payments. I have a Robinhood card. Yes, yeah, so do I. I think there's, I think there's a credit card coming as well. Um, Ryan Carlson, so far is my bank credit card. I'm loving it. He says, there you go. Of course, it's speculation. It doesn't make any money and it's burning cash at a frightening rate. It may work out well or it may not. Well, I mean, I, I get what you're saying, but if you if you can see the future, and I mean, I'm, I'm not on about predicting the future like a, a clairvoyant or a look into my crystal ball, but you really believe that um, I don't see it as speculative, you know? I understand what you're saying. The, the very definition of speculative um, is unpredictability and not knowing. But it's like it's, it's like the guy invented the, the the car. Was he was he a speculator? Was he speculative? You know, when he invented the car, or was, or was he all knowing and all wise, thinking the world's going to all drive cars around soon? Um, they're very nice. I have Robin Hood. They're very nice. Says Lights F. What the card's very nice. Let's look at our crypto right now and uh, see where we are. Ethereum is uh, down today, 0.2. Lights. Right, but, but that's why we need speculation. That's what drives the markets. That's why people, well, people regard it as speculative. That's why Tesla and Virgin Galactic and Vorb are important parts of my portfolio. Remember, we've always talked about it. Everyone is on a different cycle of their investment uh, story, right? If you are, we've, and we've talked about it time and time again. Oh, hello. My screen's gone blank. Oh, there we go. If you are, and we've, and we've talked about this, if you are a market profit, You've invested in, in uh, I mean, Market Profit told us the other day, he had like, was it $850,000 in his bank account, right? He's got a high interest account, earning money. He doesn't need to be risky, right? But how do you think he got that money? Do you think he, do you think he just stuck it in the bank 30 years ago? No. At some point, he would have had to invest in some high-risk stocks. And let's be honest, when Amazon came out, I've got a friend of mine, I've told you before, who's bought millions of shares of Amazon. When it came out, um, that was speculative. 
online shopping, Amazon, Jeff Bezos. No one knew what was going to happen there. But my friends saw it, saw uh, an opportunity and bought Amazon. Well, he, he, he doesn't gamble. He, he doesn't risk his money anymore, does he? He just leaves it sitting there and he's thousands of percent up. So, um, you know, you do need, if, if you are new to investing like I am a year and a half in, you need some stocks that have got some growth behind them. Because the S&P 500 isn't going to give me 100% this year. It isn't. <laughs> and that's great. You know, I'm not trying to say I've got to become a millionaire in five minutes, but I'm 53 years of age. I've only started investing and saving. How am I ever going to get to the amount I need for my pension if I put everything in dividend stocks or S&P 500 and nice and safe or leave it in cash like market profit? It's never going to get there. I've got to find some industries that are about, about to hit an S-curve like Virgin Galactic. Could go to 100 bucks a share, like I've always said. Well, then I can sell it. Then I can trim it down, take my capital out and invest it in, in stocks or, or ETFs or dividend investments. I can't do that right now. But that doesn't mean to say all my money is in Virgin Galactic. A small, a small portion, like 10% right now. It's quite a lot, actually, but still just 10%. Anyway, uh, when do you see space having really good revenue so people can acknowledge the price after looking at the balance sheet? Well, to answer that question, we're looking two years ahead, aren't we? If, uh, if the balance sheet's going to look great with profits on the table, not forward projections or next, you know, customers lined up like we have now, but actual money in the bank, actual profits, paying down uh, investments and so on and so forth, buying back stock, that kind of situation. Uh, mind you, though, talking about that, there is rumours of Virgin Galactic and Tesla buying back stock. We, keep, we, we haven't talked about that for a while, but yeah, both uh, Tesla and Virgin Galactic are looking at buying back stock. So remember, that will put the stock up straight away. But yeah, I, I think TO roll, two years. That doesn't mean to say the stock price won't rally between now and then. But yeah, when the company's really got cash on the books, really made money, then yeah, we're looking two years, I would have thought. Balance is the key. Uh, some hold defensive and have a few speculative punts, but be prepared for them to be to, to be worth nothing. That's exactly right. This, I, I've, I'm in that camp. Um, it's why I need to trim off the top. Because if my if my Virgin Galactic pops up and I don't trim off, I'm not doing myself a good service. I'm putting myself in a very vulnerable position. If I was starting over again at 20, I would buy a large state of bare land and start leasing sections of for farming. You could buy 10,000 acres for 10 grand and slowly start from there. Listen, stock market is not the best way to make money. No question about it. Uh, real estate and property development is, for me, doing gigs is. For me, doing theatre shows. Not sitting here talking to you. <laughs> doing doing theatre shows. I could hire out theatres, sell out, sell out a thousand tickets, 40, 50, 60 bucks a ticket. I can make a lot more. I can make as much money in a day than I can here all year on, on the stock market. However, I have decided I want to grow a YouTube channel and that's what I'm doing. I want to invest in myself. My biggest investment is myself and I want to grow and I want to have a YouTube channel with hundreds of thousands of followers and members and subscribers not because a number is anything special but it's the people behind the numbers the family the community and I will regard that as a, one of the greatest honors and the greatest achievements of my lifetime and, and and I'm dedicating my time to that after I've spent 37 years touring that's what I want to do right now so it's not all about what makes the most money it's a what it's what it's what rewards you the most what gives you the greatest pleasure all right. I had a speculative punt on Litecoin and block rewards at a halving next year. U.S. has all these stupid zoning laws and co and co court reports you have to get. Land is even cheaper in the U.S. Maybe not the U.K. Oh, the U.K. land is extremely expensive. Uh, no land in my area is uh, is ten thousand uh, dollars. Right. In two thousand, I owned Microsoft. Uh, I would have been a millionaire. 
had I not sold. There you go. Uh, Spaceline. I got to thank you for the information for the video. Spaceline, have you seen the video? Have you seen it? I did your video that you asked me to make. Look, here it is. Have you seen... Whoops, Daisy. Have you seen the video? Uh, look, there you go. This is the thousand flights. I want to thank you very much for bringing me this information. And uh, I don't know if you've left a... Co In fact, I know you haven't yet. You haven't left a comment below the, um, the video yet. So please, uh, please do. Uh, here is the actual video itself. Uh, let me give it to you in the chat. Go and watch it all the way through if you want to help the video. Don't watch the first minute. It's only three and a half minutes long. Watch it all the way through and leave a comment. That'd be really great. But uh, there you go. We're up 1.54 now. Very good. I'm 40 miles away from the White House. How cool is that? How cool is that, Churchy? Landing Cornwall, very expensive. Yep. Andrew Grady will tell you. I know, I've got my house in Cornwall. Uh, look on landquest.com. Plenty of Midwestern states with unbelie unbelievably cheap land. One of the richest, one of the richest man, in, man, man in the world, Bill Gates, started buying farmland in 2018 as, and now the biggest private owner. Look at that. I'd be rich if I was born before 1970. <laughs> I'd be rich if I won the lottery. Yep, he said. There we go, space line. Easy as hell back then to make money. Uh, saw it. Mike Moses is the president of Virgin Galactic. Thank you very much indeed. Up 1.71. Oh, and also, um, Space Line, I want to thank you for something really important. Really important. I didn't know you could do this. I have a Stockwitz. And uh, you put the dollar sign tag SPCE into the post and posted it onto your profile on Stockwix. And then it actually trended in on on Google and I'm trying to tr I'm trying to rank on Google and I never realized that you need to put the hash the um, the dollar sign so you basically hashtag the um, the stock that way it ranks on Google uh, if anyone's wondering what I'm talking about I want a huge th huge thank you to Spaceline for doing that let me show you what I mean I learned this yesterday SPCE Stock. This is in Google now, not YouTube. Much better if you can rank on Google, right? So I went down here, and I'm looking over here on Google, because obviously I want to rank on Google, because that's even better than ranking on YouTube. Right, and there is Stockwitz near the top. Right, very, very nice. Click on Stockwitz, and give it a second to load. And we will see directly off the home page then, right? Just scroll down just a little bit. Um, I was right at the top, and I can be at the top if I just repost it. Uh, 550. There I am. Look. Here, yeah, look. Look at that. That's directly, that's directly off. The home page of Google. One click. There's my video. Look at that. Absolutely great. So thank you very much. I didn't realize I could do that by tagging um, SPCE into that look. Really, really great. So thank you very much indeed for that. It's a huge, um, a huge bit of knowledge there. Really, really helped me rank on Google. So uh, thanks for that. Um, just get my uh, computer to move a minute. It's gone a bit slow. We seem to have a little technical glitch. Mm. That's better. So thanks for that. Really, really great. 
So that's how to get yourself onto the home page of YouTube. What what would you call it, Freedom? Uh, if I ever won Mega Millions, I would get a hold of at least nine more investors to match the amount of money I have and start building a new smart city. <laughs> Brilliant. I like that. Anyway. Uh, look at that, look. Reshare. Great times. Whoops. Great times are coming. Bullish. Post. There we go. A lot of IOTA would like that. What would you call it? So I'm just reading some comments here. Okay. Netherlands goal. Watching Netherlands. Ah, here we go. So, uh, let's bring you that information. Here, here we go. Here is the, uh, the Netherlands. We're going to bring you this now. If I go into the live match, uh, there you go. We are 1-0. We expect uh, Netherlands to win this game, by the way. There you go. It's 1-0, and we'll keep an eye on that for you as well. We've got England and the USA playing this afternoon. Looking uh, very excited, getting very excited about that as well, of course. So, right now, we're coming to the end of our show. We've got day trader of the day to see who's up and down a day. See who's made the most uh, today. We're doing quite well right now. We're getting, we're starting to see it rally. Let's see what's breaking news. See what's happening. Uh, we've got uh, Amazon kicks off a five-part bond sale. I apologise if I've got some glitches here in my broadcast. We seem to be a little bit uh, stuttery today. England versus Wales. Yes, we're, we'll be covering that live on today's show. Um, this afternoon. Let's have a little look. What's popping right now? The S&P is coming back very quickly. Very nice indeed. Virgin Galactic, 494. Market profit sounds like Richard Branson. <laughs> Virgin Orbit's gone back down again. The flight's days away now. Maybe this Thursday, someone mentioned this morning. Tesla's popped up, 185. Rivian is up to date, 29.40. Lucid is up at the moment. We're still showing 1-0 here. Uh, this is live on the blog right now. So this is live information as it happens. If you want to follow the football, we're doing it for you. Um, Lucid is popping up. I'm sure Branson has, uh, has one somewhere. He loves beautiful naked women. <laughs> I bet he does. Herb Branson was on CNBC. Can anyone confirm? CNBC. I'm on CNBC right now. Uh, let me have a look. I'm always on it. Um, let me have a little look. I, I don't see it. I don't see it at all at the moment. Live. Let me go. Have just a quick check. No, I don't see that at the moment. No, I don't see. Uh, I don't see that at the moment. Anyway, I'll keep me on it for you. We've got uh, arrive Amazon now coming back up again. Uh, Apple now is uh, in the green today. China's uh, 
lockdown could be eased. McDonald's is down 0.74. Coca-Cola is down. That info comes from Reddit. Um, I can't see it. J&J is down 0.72. Now then, if you just tuned in, we've got some uh, some really important news. We've got uh, CPI December 13th, 7.30 a.m. Central Time. We're covering it on the show. FOMC December the 15th, 1 p.m. We're covering it on the show. November the 30th, which is tomorrow, 12.30, Jerome Powell. It's an extra broadcast. An extra broadcast. Are you going to join me for that tomorrow? It's an extra broadcast. This is it here. Um, hopefully you'll join me tomorrow. This is it here. Let me bring it up to you now. This is uh, Jerome Powell tomorrow. If you want to be part of this, uh, this is an extra broadcast in between the opening and closing bell. I'll give you the link to it now. You can go and leave a comment. You can, you, you can go and click like and share and uh, click reminder. Notify me. And what I mean by that is... Um, you can click the notify me. See just there, look. And uh, you can give it a like already if you want to and get yourself all set up in the live chat. That's tomorrow, Jerome Powell, live on the show. We'll cover that. Andrew Grady, got, uh, catch you at the closing bell. I, I hope you have a great afternoon. Andrew Grady, uh, thanks for joining us. I'll see you in a bit. Have a wonderful afternoon. Still 1-0 at 27 minutes in. Okay, we're having a bit of a drop again now. What's uh, moving? It's uh, time for day trader of the day. So let's do that right now. Let's um, put my score up on the screen. I am up to day 1.8 and give everybody uh, 1.81. Let's give myself the best chance of winning before it goes down. <laughs> All right. Okay. Everybody give me your score on the door. I'm losing it quickly. So uh, get in quick. Just as I called it, it went started going down. All right, let me put my score on the uh, on the door. Here we go. All right, one minute on the clock. We've got Sid is already with us now. Here we go. Sid is up 1.65. I'm not seeing Sid's comment come on the screen, but I can see it's there in the chat. It's just not come through onto YouTube. We're getting a few glitches today. Uh, Church is down 0.27. I'm sorry I can't. Oh, here he is, Portland Trailblazer. I wanted to thank you, Portland Trailblazer, for being uh, one of our gold members. We now have uh, 12, I think, 12 gold members. Portland Trailblazer, thank you so much indeed for being a, a gold member now for a few months. Thank you so much indeed. There we go. I can share again now. 0.27, up 4%. Trailblazer goes into the lead. And uh, yes, thank you ever so much for being a gold member of our channel. Absolutely awesome. Um, thank you. Down uh, po uh, 0.27. It looks like our winner then today, unless we get anybody else, is uh, Portland Trailblazer. Is up 4% today. It's a great, great score. And thank you again for being such an amazing supporter, keeping this channel going. It's uh, phenomenal support. Thank you so, so much for that. It's one of our gold members. I think we have 12 now. Um, out of our, 90, I think, 98, 99 members now. Getting close to that 100 again. We lost a few when I was on holiday, but uh, they're coming back now. Right. Ryan Carlson is up 3%. I think some of you are behind. You're behind the stream. You've not clicked um, the live button. We often talk about that. Click the live button and make sure that you're up to date. Anyway, so here we go. Let's uh, thank uh, you for your honest trades. Uh, give them a thumbs up and let's have the sound effects. Here we go. Portland Trailblazer. There you go. Nice one. <clears throat> Ryan Carlson came in there at 3%. Pretty good. I thought I was doing all right today, but I've been pipped again. Never mind. Let's go back and see what's what's hot and what's not. The S&P is up 0.23. Virgin Galactic is going up again. Uh, Virgin Orbit, 2.24. Uh, 
I'm holding it at the moment, waiting for those flights. Tesla, up 1%. Still down 18%. Let's jump Let's jump all the way to the other end and look at our SoFi. Um, up 1.58 today. I'm still down 21%. Let's look at our crypto as well. Ethereum is up 0.57. Bitcoin is, is down 0.3. Bitcoin SV is down 0.58. But we had, a big, we had a big pump yesterday. 10% for BSV yesterday. Very, very nice indeed. Enphase Energy down slightly. I'm still up uh, 6% on it. Ginkgo, Tilray Brands up 2.88, up 3% now, bouncing around that 3% mark. Um, overall, I'm up 9%. Uh, it's a good position, but I'm not selling Tilray Brands until we get to uh, uh, the news of, of um, legislation has been passed. That's what I'm looking for. I'm not in on right now. I'm in uh, Photronics Canoe. I've got a, a, um, a position growing there. Up today, 5%. Tesco, 1.32. I'm up near 2% now. Very nice. Got profit in there. Plus, uh, I don't count it, but my Doge wallet is technically up 7%. Very, very good. Yes, that's uh, what we look at is the overall portfolio here. But uh, it's worth mentioning, though, Lightsef. Thank you for sharing it. Tesco, 1.38. Target, down today, but up 9.5%. Walmart, great Great profit on Walmart now. I'm up 25%. I bought it on that dip when it went for the when on when the earnings uh, dropped and then it bounced right back um, very very quickly. Anyway, let's refresh our football app a minute. We seem to have lost connection from that. We'll re we'll bring that back in again. SoFi. Just dropping off. The overall portfolio now is at 1.67. Getting better all the time. Netherlands is, is winning 1-0 over Qatar at the moment. Let's see if we've got any more uh, breaking news that I can bring to you. Biden, congressional leaders to discuss lame duck priorities, whatever that's all about. Luxury home prices expected to surge in Dubai, drop in London. Uh, Ron Carson, sorry, I'm away sometimes. I'm working at a hotel and had to refresh the continent. Had to refresh the con. Oh, that sounds nice. Continental breakfast. Oh, I love all that. Um, that sounds good, doesn't it? Continental breakfast. Uh, right, we've got the Netherlands now. It's 38 minutes in. We're at 1 0 to the Netherlands. We're keeping an eye on the score for you. Um, no worries, Ryan. Thank you for being a, a member of our channel and here regularly. And uh, thank you so, so much. I believe you've turned green now. You've got a green badge. You'll be turning uh, yellow next and then gold. Um, Credit Suisse's comeback challenged, challenged seen in three metrics of woe. Um, China stocks surged today uh, in the US as uh, vaccine drives drive fuels reopen um, bets so there you go that's good to hear the overall portfolio is moving again and uh here we go let me bring you some more information right now this is where we are right now you can see the uh, the dow is up 0 0.16 s p 500 is up 0 0.22 nasdaq 11,070 now up 0.19 Looking good today. Very, very nice indeed. Uh, Ryan Carson, don't apologise. Thank, thank you for all your support. Seriously. Absolutely great. Well, we're coming to the end of our show. Thanks for all being here. Now we've got uh, a big week ahead. We've got a lot of, of great stuff coming up. 
We've got um, Alex Agut, CEO, co-founder of uh, Handcash, big investor in BSV, with us on Friday. I'm talking to Dr. Craig Wright, who is the alleged um, pseudonym um, Satoshi Nakamoto, having him on the show. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine how cool that would be? Having Satoshi Nakamoto on on the show. Anyway, that's um, that's coming up. Hopefully, that'll come off. And uh, we've also got tomorrow Jerome Powell speaking. That's an extra broadcast. If you've not yet uh, got yourself signed up for that broadcast, here it is tomorrow. Tomorrow, you can. Andrew Grady has already put a like on it. Look at that! Absolutely awesome. There is the video tomorrow. There it is on the screen. Uh, also, if you've not watched the um, the Virgin Galactic 1000 flights video, there it is. And uh, this is what it looks like. That's the 1000 flights. That's uh, there for you to check out as well. We're up 2% now. So what is moving now? Something is moving. We're up now 0.26. On the the over uh, on the S and P five hundred, Lightsef coin, Virgin Galactic is up four point four. Okay, right then we've come up to that point in the day when uh, I'm going to make a couple of videos. So uh, let's do that right now. This is what I'm going to put out um, shortly. So we are doing very nicely right now. Space is moving. Yes, it is. So let me do a couple of videos right now as well. And uh, if you ever do a super chat during these videos, then uh, you will actually be in the video. It's always nice if you want to do it. It shows that we've got an active family. So if you want to do that now is a good time when I start speaking. Two hours, ten. Uh, is Craig here today? Is Craig here? <laughs> Breaking news. Get out of it! Get, is, is Crag here today? I want to see if Crag is here uh, at Crag. Because Crag was sent a uh, prize the other day. Uh, two hours ten. <laughs> oh my gosh. Breaking news. Yeah, I've got to earn some money now. Right, so here we go. Let's look at... Um, Virgin Galactic, Virgin Galactic, right, Virgin Galactic. In fact, no, no, what we'll do, we'll start off with, what we'll start off with, what we'll start off with is um, this one here. We'll talk about the S&P today and why it's up and why I predicted it to be up and why I say it's muted. And let's see what everybody feels about this. Um, breaking news on Martin Lucas Investors Show. Yeah, see, it's my trademark, isn't it now? I'm like one of those uh, news reporters. I got trademarks. There you go. Right. Okay. We're all looking good. All right. You ready? Okay. Breaking news here on Martin Lucas Investor. My overall portfolio is up 2% today. Before the markets opened, I predicted a green day, a muted green day. And the reason why I predicted a muted green day is tomorrow Jerome Powell is speaking. So the markets uh, sold off yesterday a little bit. Uh, we've gained a back a bit of it today, uh, but there's going to be no major news until next week. Why? Because tomorrow Jerome Powell speaks, which is great, but he's going to be muted because he won't know what the employment figures are until Friday. So we're looking forward to Friday and seeing how that all pans out. But right now, my overall portfolio is up. And the reason why it's up today so much is Virgin Galactic has popped up today. And uh, if you'd like to know more about that, check out up here and that will take you to our Virgin Galactic playlist. And uh, we'll, we'll, you'll see why that's up today. We've got some breaking news about uh, it's some news, news I put out yesterday about Virgin Galactic 1000 flights. Check that out. If you are new to the channel, please do click subscribe and ring the bell and smash the like button. We really do appreciate you doing that Re really helps our channel oh, what a what a terrible place to put subscribe right above my head there that wasn't very clever was it anyway never mind so the overall portfolio is up to date two percent looking great a lot of that now is uh, china uncertainty so things are starting to recover because people are thinking that uh, we're going to get some um, some of the uh, lockdown restrictions taken away and things are going to improve we had a big sell-off yesterday 
last week with China's Chinese stocks and related around China as well. So things like Apple and Tesla with their factories in China were very much um, connected to all the uh, disruption, the riots and so on and so forth. But anyway, join us on a live show if you ever get the chance. We're here 10 hours a day. And uh, if you click above here, that's where I should have put the subscribe. Should I, should I try it again? That's better, right? That's better. That works much better there, look. See? There you go. Click subscribe, ring the bell, and we'll see you back for another live show. Until next time, take care of yourselves and each other. <clears throat> All right. Let me do a quick thumbnail today. There you go. Okay. There we go. Put that there. And uh, who muted Green Day? They are a good band. Who muted Green Day? Until the stock goes to nine bucks, I care. I can care less if it goes up or not. Ooh, Churchy has spoken. Churchy has spoken. Right, SPCE, Virgin Galactic. Uh, I'm right with you. I get where you're coming from, Churchy. I get where you're coming from, mate. Uh, so two hours ten. Um, market, and then we have SPCE, right, uh, okay, <laughs> let me know, I don't know why my computer is struggling today, it's awful, I'm really, I'm really struggling here today, anyway, Breaking news here on Martin Lucas Investor. Virgin Galactic is up today, 4.79. Why is it up? Well, because we rank number one on Virgin Galactic and we talk about it all the time and everyone's buying the stocks. Is that the reason? We'd like to think so. However, that is not the case. I'm a small YouTuber. I don't influence anything. I don't even influence anybody who watches my show, let alone let alone the rest of the world. Anyway, Virgin Galactic is up today. Why is it up? Well, quite simply, we've got a lot of attention back on space. Virgin Orbit is about to launch. We're expecting Thursday, but it's been delayed all month. But we are expecting it to go at any point. So when we get that information, we'll bring it to you. But also yesterday, I brought you the information about Virgin Galactic 1,000 flights for their um, for their um, VSS Unity. Very exciting news. If you've not checked out that video, click up there, and it will tell you all about the 1,000 flights planned uh, for their rockets. Um, it's not a 1,000 flights per year. Don't get carried away. We wish it was. It's a 1,000 flights per um, longevity for the rocket. So it just shows you how they're building longevity into their um, into their technology. The reason why the markets are up th th though today is we had uh, some uncertainty in China. That perhaps is easing. We had the riots around Tesla and Apple factories and high risk stocks, as I always say, and this is one thing I've, I've been right 100% of the time, are always sold off first. When we have uncertainty, everyone dumps great companies like te like. Tesla, Virgin Galactic, just because it's speculative or regarded as speculative, arguably it is, but uh, I really believe in, in the future of these companies. So for me, it's just an opportunity to buy it when it goes down. However, I didn't manage to get it to go to my all-time low, which is four bucks. No point buying it anywhere in between because I've already bought enough at those price levels. But anyway, Virgin Galactic has popped up today because we're starting to get rumors of things easing. Now, tomorrow is Jerome Powell live on the show. If you want to join us live for Jerome Powell, click here and that will take you to Jerome Powell's video. We will be live with him uh, tomorrow on our show. So there you go. Virgin Galactic has popped up today. Simple as uh, people are a bit more confident in the market. I don't expect any major rally until next week because Jerome Powell will not know how the un unemployment figures go until Friday. So he speaks tomorrow, a couple of days ahead of that. So nothing major this week. I might end up the week maybe 5 10% up. I expect that, but nothing massive uh, considering we've lost so much over the last 12 months. Anyway, until next time, take care of yourselves and each other. All right, do a little ticker there. Shouldn't call it a ticker. It's called a thumbnail. Don't know why I do that. Struggling because you have because you have 7,000 tabs open. Yeah, probably. 7,000 tabs, 14 screens and everything else. Um there you go. Tesla, 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 Rivian, Tesla. Why, why is Tesla up today? We know why Tesla's up today. We know exactly why Tesla's up today, don't we? Or don't we? Do we? Don't we? 
Breaking news here on Martin Lucas Investor. I do like saying that. Sounds so official. Why is Tesla up? Well, a lot of information now, a lot of news and spotlight around the semis being driven across the across the world right now. Is it across the world? I'm not sure where they're being driven. I read the news they're being driven from somewhere to somewhere. I can't remember exactly where they've been driven to right now. But Elon Musk and his team have been driving them around somewhere. Probably around his back garden. I don't know. But anyway, they've been getting some attention. The semis are out now. Very exciting now. Now, why is the stock not up more than this? Well, over the last few days, we've had a lot of drama in China over Tesla and Apple, of course, Chinese lockdowns, riots going on. But of course, that's a temporary thing. Never good for any stock, but it's great for, for stocks because it allows you the opportunity to buy in when you should have already been in. But I, I, I didn't, wasn't able to get any at my all-time low. I'm trying to buy some more at 160. However, I'm holding my position. And uh, because of all this drama, Tesla did sell off a bit. But we are expecting a record-breaking uh, fourth quarter. We're excited about it. And we're also excited about the, the more news with the semi. It is being overshadowed right now with Elon Musk buying Twitter and all that kind of stuff. It's also being overshadowed because of what's going on in China. But all of this will get put to bed and all of this will get sorted. And Tesla, in my opinion, will go up. Now, I'm overall, I'll share with you my overall position. Even though I've been buying the dips, I am down quite a bit. In fact, I'm down 18% still. Uh, and I was up. I was up a couple of grand. I'm down a couple of grand now, but I have been buying dips. Um, I bought it at 180, 179, 170, 171, around there. I didn't get it for 160, but however, I'm glad to have lowered my lowered my averages and I'm holding my position of Tesla. So there you go. That's why Tesla's up today. A bit of a rally, bit of a relief with what's going on in China. Maybe uh, things are going to ease, but uh, that's all that's been. It's a bit of, bit, been a, been of um, local news brought that down, but uh, I'm, I'm very bullish on Tesla as I've always been. I'm holding my position. What do you think? If you want to join us uh, for live shows, including tomorrow, we have uh, Jerome Powell on the show. And uh, not literally, but you know what I mean. Click up here. That will take you to all my live shows. I don't expect much great news to come from Jerome tomorrow. Not bad either until we get the unemployment figures on Friday, which are suggesting more layoffs, which is exactly what we want. Bad news is good news, right? Until next time, take care of yourselves and each other. All right, let's go into uh, Tesla. Okay, bit of Tesla there for you, right? Now then, Tesla, something else I want to talk about. Uh, and that is, and that is... Bitcoin, 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 Bitcoin. Okay, let me bring this on the screen. Ah, Khalid, new normal song written for Virgin Galactic. Link sent to Twitter. Khalid, new normal song written for Virgin Thank you. Oh, by the way, Spaceline, the reason why I didn't get your Twitter is because you're following me on my, on my music channel, not the investor channel. That's why I have two Twitter accounts, Martin Lucas, which is the music personal channel. And I also have um, the uh, Martin Lucas Investor. So here is my, is my Twitter. This is the one you need to follow. You can follow both, of course. But this is the one to do with investment and stocks and shares, right? Um, so there you go. There is my Twitter for this channel. All right. So I'm just I just realized why I didn't receive your your uh, messages, because that's on the personal music channel. Anyway. Let's talk about this right now uh, very, very quickly, but this is important. Uh, I sent this song to your music Twitter. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> that makes that makes sense. That makes sense. I'm like. Yeah, okay, I get it. Fair enough. All right. I thought you'd promote Virgin Galactic. That stocks. It gets confusing, right? Okay, here we go. Uh, let's do this now. I want to mention this. ESV. Okay. Okay. 
Breaking news here on Martin Lucas Investor. Something very exciting is about to happen on our show. This is Bitcoin BSV, Satoshi Vision. I am talking with Dr. Craig right at the moment, and uh, he is planning on coming on my show. I'm very excited about it. Satoshi Nakamoto, that's his pseudonym. That's who he uh, alleges himself to be, and many people around the world believe he is. Satoshi Nakamoto, inventor and creator of Bitcoin, and uh, he's certainly behind Bitcoin SV, which is the Satoshi vision. And uh, we're very excited that um, Dr. Craig Wright uh, could be on our show. We are in discussion with him right now. So uh, how cool would that be? Very, very cool indeed. So that's coming up. But also this Friday, uh, Alex Agut, who is the CEO and co-founder of Handcash, will be discussing with us Handcash, BSV versus BTC, all that wonderful stuff that everyone wants to know about. He'll be joining me live on the show. Now, you can call in live to the show and have your say. You can put your direct questions to him, whether it's in the live chat or directly with him on video, or you can call in on, on, phone, on, on a phone uh, via Discord. All the links are below. Uh, that's happening on Friday. If you click up here, that will take you to our Friday opening bell show with Alex Agut, um, CEO and co-founder of Handcash. We're very excited to have him on the show. And then coming up, we have, uh, as I say, in discussion with Satoshi Nakamoto as well. Great stuff lined up for you here on Martin Lucas Investor. lot going on. We saw a massive bounce yesterday on Bitcoin SV, which went up uh, 10 point, as you can see, up, the, up this week, 10.52. A lot, lot more than BTC. Why was that? Well, we'll discuss that on Friday as well. There's a reason why that happened, and we'll share that information with you on Friday. Until then, take care of yourselves and each other. All right. Okay. Let's do a thumbnail there. Okay, bring that back in. Uh, what else do we want to make before we close today's show? We are wrapping up today's show. Um, Target has bounced back up. Walmart. Uh, oh, SoFi. I wanted to cover SoFi as well. Uh, over here. SoFi, SoFi, SoFi. There's some information here I wanted to talk about. Right. I think this is important because around the crypto space now, we've got SoFi. There it is. Let's have a little look. That's not what I want to share with you. That's not that interesting. Uh, 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 right, okay. So far, let's bring this up. Now then, very interesting. Breaking news here on Martin Lucas Investor, SoFi Technologies up 1.91%, 2% right now, uh, live as I'm making this video. Now, SoFi Technologies is one of my favorite stocks to own and to keep long term. It's not a short term investment, it's a long term investment for me. I like the digital bank space. I believe that digital banks are the future. They'll replace brick and mortar banks. However, the trouble is in the last few days, SoFi has had a, a bit of a Bit of a bad run. Why is it at a, at a bad run? Why has this happened? Well, because of Sam Bankman Fried and FTX and all that other debacle nonsense. Um, it has interest in crypto, has investments in crypto. So it's sold off. Now, why is it sold off? Uh, SoFi is uh, regulated and governed as a bank, so which is good. It is why I invested in it. It's why I don't invest in Coinbase and other things like that, FTX. I wouldn't touch them with a barge pole. But um, bank stocks I like. 
particularly as inflation is go sorry interest rates are going up people are um the banks are making more money because of interest rates going up and that's not going to be going down anytime soon so while you're here smash the like button i nearly forgot smash the like button very very important and don't forget to uh, click subscribe as well if you're new to the channel so SoFi is a digital bank. It's a long-term investment. It's, a begin it's the beginning of its S-curve, if you like. Some would regard it's probably overpriced somewhat. However, um, I, I am in. Now, I bought some more. I doubled my position. If I share with you my position, when the news broke about Sam Bankman-Fried, um, companies that have crypto on their books started to get, inve started to get investigated. So SoFi got looked at and it dropped. Now I'm down 21%. I was down like 30, 40% at one point, but I doubled my position. I've only got a small position. Uh, it's 2% of my portfolio, but that's about right for this kind of stock for my particular balance of my, my portfolio anyway. But um, it went down dramatically. I bought some more a couple of days ago. I've got uh, another buy order set at $4 if it goes down there, and that will that will really lower my average. Uh, I will double up again at that point. I don't know if it will go there or not, but however, so far I presented myself with an opportunity to, uh, opportunity to buy because over the last couple of days, if we look at it, it started to pick up again. Even though we're down still on the week, over the last couple of days, it started to rally because they've done nothing wrong. They're not going to be in trouble, I don't believe, with their connections to, um, to crypto. Yes, they're losing some money. That's not good. We know that. But they've not broken any laws. As I understand it right now, from the research I am doing, everything looks okay. So I just feel that um, SoFi is being sold because it's risky. It's a bit scary right now. Um, bad news around the stock. So it's being sold down. But for me, it's a long-term investment. I like it. I'm holding it. What do you think? If you want to check out my full playlist of SoFi, uh, click up here. But if you are into crypto and you are into um, this kind of space as well, you might be inter interested to know Satoshi Nakamoto, uh, otherwise known as um, Dr. Craig Wright, I'm in conversation with him right now to bring him onto the show. But on Friday, if you uh, join us live on the show, I have Alex Agut, who is the CEO and co-founder of Handcash and heavily invested in Bitcoin, joining me on Friday. If you click up here, that will take you to that show and you can be part of that on Friday. That's it from me. Until next time, take care of yourselves and each other. Okay, there we go. Let me just adjust that somewhat. Why isn't that doing that? There we go, that'll do. Okay, so fine. Let me uh, bring that back in. Uh, does it not make sense for traditional banks to adopt digital assets? Um, I think it does. I think it does. Was there a rumor yesterday that um, banks were going to start buying all the Bitcoin up or something or other? Was I was I was I right here in that? I did have a rumor yesterday. Um, anyway, let's uh, wrap up the show. I think it's time to wrap up now. Actually, time to get off, and I will see you all back for the closing bell later on this afternoon. Look out for all the videos coming up. And uh, just leads me to, to thank you all for being here this afternoon. How many did we get through the show in the end? Uh, let's have a little look. We got 118. That's better. We, we've been averaging uh, 200. So we've been down the last few days. When it's red, people aren't that keen on joining in so much. Uh, I've noticed that. But uh, last couple of days, we were 100, 118 today. So we've improved a little bit. So that's uh, going back up again. Good stuff. All right, just need someone to say, roll the credits. I'm going to get out of here, edit these videos, and put the new videos out very, very shortly. So uh, there we go. Uh, thank you ever so much on TikTok for joining me. Um, if I've not answered your questions, try and join me on YouTube. It's much, much easier for me if you do that. Anyway, my overall portfolio is still up 1%, just falling back a little bit. Um as you can see right now, but we're still up at the moment. I sent this song to your music. Okay, great. I think we've lost a couple of people now, so I'm going to roll the credits. I'm going to get out of here. I'll see you back for the closing bell this afternoon. In the meantime...
Let's roll the credits, see what happened this morning. Did we get any uh, new members or super chats? Let's have a quick look. Stars of the show today were Mark Korn. He gave me a super chat. Thank you so much indeed. Now, we did get some subscribers, but they're not public subscribers, so they've not been recognized on the screen. That's why your name hasn't come up. And we didn't get any members of uh, Twitch today either. So uh, there you go. But that's it. I look forward to seeing you all back this afternoon for the closing bell. Thanks for being here. Any latest, any last minute breaking news? Um, keeping my eye, nothing happening at the minute that I need to bring to you. So I will uh, see you all back this afternoon. Have a wonderful afternoon. And until we meet again for the closing bell, until then, take care of yourselves and each other.